down in the car One time give it all Box it open hard Let me see your job Get down in the car One time give it all Box it open hard Let me see your job All right. Looks like we're live. Oh, hi. Welcome back. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome to the Side Pod Hustle. As you can see, we're missing one of our greatest. The Schmo is away this week. So it might be a bit of a shit show, but we're going <laughs> to give it a shot anyways. So as always, joining me to my left is... Honey Bunny. To my right... Jizzy. And this is the Side Pod Hustle. So first of all, I'd like to thank... We have almost like 430 subs that are watching us. So thank you very much for subscribing to the Side Pod Hustle. We are available on Apple Play, Spotify, Google Podcasts, Pandora... Uh, on Twitch, you can see us tonight on Twitch, live video and audio, as well as catch up uh, with our uh, side pod hustle on YouTube, as well as little snippets on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. If you want to call us, we have the 1979 number, 272-4300. Would love to have you guys engage, call in, ask whatever. We're all in. We talk about everything, keeping it as real as we can. Sex, drugs, rock and roll, kinks, pets, you name it, we talk about it. That's true. So what's on the list today, Misty? Well, we were talking about a couple things a little bit earlier. So I think we can start off on some things that might be a little bit fun. Uh, still kind of on pace with what we typically talk about. But maybe some recurring dreams. Scary recurring dreams. Sexual recurring oh. dreams. Or scary sexual <laughs> recurring dreams. <laughs> Whatever's your kink, I guess. Whatever. Yeah. Well, all it's right, not even a kink. Right. If it's scary, that shit's a fucking nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, well, somebody wake me up, you know, slap the me, wake me up. time you're just trying to get away from <laughs> exactly. it. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. Um, so I'll start off, I'll start off with one because uh, it just happened recently. So one of my recurring dreams that I don't like, I don't enjoy it, uh, is me getting into a fight. I'll be in a fight and uh, I, like, I know I can throw down. It's just, it's a fucking fact. But when I do, Prove in it. my dream, in my dream, I can't. Like, I go for a full swing, and it lands like a feather. Or it's like slow motion. It never like, hits. Oh, like, yeah. it never lands. <laughs> and it's like the, the frustration of it. Or I try to yell. Like, I'm like yelling, and nothing comes out. Oh, you so, poor like, thing. Yes, it's, it's incredibly fresh for me. <laughs> That's very Have you ever, like, made contact with someone while it you're in bed contact. with them? contact. No. Oh. No. Oh, oh like, while I'm dreaming? Yeah, so I had some guy uh, I was in bed with, and all of a sudden, I just, like, feel this fucking rush <laughs> to my face and I wake you up and I'm lying. like what the, the fuck, fuck happened and, and you're like, not even inside of me <laughs> <laughs> it's too early for that but uh, no he was having a dream about fist fighting someone Contact and he actually made. fucking connected yeah, to me yeah. at yeah, least that's, that's his story oh wow yeah. <laughs> No, no, no. I've been, I've been like knocked, like knocked by a partner, or like the kick, the twitch kick. Yeah, right. Just right? like a but, running dog. But not full. <laughs> <laughs> That's me. Exactly. I, I'm, the, I'm the twitcher. Are I, you? Oh, yeah, and I feel like I'm falling all the time. I'll just. But wait, are you drop. twitching right before falling asleep, or are you like twitching and like going for contact sport? No, I, tw- of a dream? I twitch myself awake. I'm just like throwing massive. Like karate kicks at people and stuff, and then all of a sudden I wake Jesus up. Jesus Christ! Do you have a king size bed? Yeah. Oh, yeah. thank God for that. Yeah. I know. Thank God. Your poor wife. <laughs> like, I know. Put ropes around. I'd be kicking you the fuck back. <laughs> like Jesus. holy shit. Okay, so what's your recurring one? That's it. Really? That the I fighting one? That I can't make contact yeah. when I'm in a fight. Okay, so I do. Okay. I, I dream about fighting a lot. <laughs> Maybe my subconscious consistently fighting with the world and it's coming out in my dreams. Is I don't it know. anyone specific or just like a... No, just like I feel like I'm attacked yeah. and in order to defend myself, no matter what, like, I mean, I'm an adult now and I'm not just going to go out on the street and start scrapping it out with adults. Like, I, I don't need to end up in jail. You know what I mean? That's not going to happen. You will go to big girl jail. Yeah, yeah. I will go to big girl jail. It's no longer juvie. <laughs> Did my time. Got expunged. This is a real shit now. It's not going to go down that way. So, but in my dreams, I feel like whenever, like, let's say if even like the mama bear in me comes out, if I feel like somebody's coming after my kid in the dream, and yeah, I'm there yeah. to like protect, you know, uh, him or myself, and when I go for it to do the contact, nothing. Like it lands, but it's like there's zero impact. 
and that that frustration consistently happens or they're not being able to scream and yell out oh jesus you know like i'm being haunted by like a, something evil and i'm trying to yell out Nothing. Yeah, I've, def- I've yeah. definitely had dreams like That's that. That's horrible. But no, it's I like ha- almost paralysis, but without being paralyzed. Pretty much. And your whole dream is like, uh, you know, going the same pace or whatever. And as soon as you throw that punch, it's Nothing. like slow mo. And they might get out of the way, and you're just like, fuck, yes. come here. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. 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 So I have a reoccurring dream where I'm constantly like in a house, and it's this huge house, and it could be like, all my family, friends, whoever the fuck I'm dreaming about. And it's just, it depends on what is going on in my life where sometimes I'll have like tornadoes on the outside mm. or I'll be going through like little cracks in the wall. That is very, very it's, symbolic. Sometimes I've been in the basement of this house, like searching through shit. Like it's, always, it's really fucked up. To are me. the rooms all the same all the time? So if you open the same door, is it the same room? Or no, the no, room it's change? always different. It's always this old school So it's only the exterior house. situation that fucking changes. No, the interior. Some, I don't even see the exterior. So Some there's tornadoes t- inside the house? No, no. On the outside, you're looking through the windows yes, yes, and everything exactly. like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So depending on what's going on in your life is what the yeah, weather's going to be Sometimes I'll like. look out the window and it's like gorgeous fields, blah, blah, blah. Like so you're having a good day so there? I guess. Al- outside's always on fire. Always on. Or just, tornadoes. Yeah. Tornadoes, it depends. fire, fucking tsunami. Just a disaster. But that's, <laughs> that's very reoccurring for me in this house. Do you wake house. up like, you know, moaning and, you know, <laughs> rolling back and forth? Pretty much. And then I just suppress my feelings like a man <laughs> and then go on with my day. Mm-hmm. Nothing happened here, folks. Yeah. Pretty much. <laughs> it's time to clean up the yard. Yeah. So that's the only thing that we got to deal with. Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, my God. Any sexual recurring dreams? Uh, No, not really. I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say reoccurring at all. I don't. What's this? No, I don't really have recurring dreams. I had. Um, I don't really dream a lot, honestly. Uh, I had a dream last week, and maybe it's because I was home alone and I was like a little on edge. Um, one of my uh, <laughs> pussy, on pussy, edge. Pussy. I don't know. I'm not used to it when when there's always noise I in the house. I swear, I locked the door. <laughs> I swear, I don't know. I heard something. Yeah, all the noises come out when you're home alone. But uh, yeah, I one of my f- fears, I guess, is that. I'd be home alone, and my Western Road Neglington in me always says, uh, keep a knife by the bed. So I have a knife by the bed. Jesus Christ. Like a butcher knife? Oh, oh wait, we got a caller. Caller, please. All right, who do we have? Who's on the so line? I got dreams. All right. Oh, yeah. what, is that the schmo? Hey, Schmo. <laughs> oh, it is. Oh, I'm long distance, I'm long distance oh, telegraphing you guys. <laughs> All right. Okay, give us a dream. So it gets it gets pretty gnarly. But it, uh, you guys remember the last episode? Remember I told you about the girl that was cheating on me? You guys yeah. remember that last episode? Yeah, yeah. Where you got a little petty, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're extremely petty. Yeah. Uh, so uh, about about three or four days before I caught her cheating on me, I had a dream. I was driving down the road close to my house, and I looked off into you know into the into the ditch you know on the sort of the, the shoulders of the road. Yeah. And there was a, a, an eagle. There was an eagle in the ditch, but it was wounded. Like it was like like not somebody ran it over, but it was a wounded eagle. Like uh, I just it stuck in my brain. I remember, and I woke up out of that dream. Are you the eagle? Like, oh, Is the eagle your spirit animal? I think so. I, you know, that's a good question. I got to I got to Google that. But, the, but I, I mean, I'm just going to leave you guys with this, and then let you guys do the podcast. But I'll tell you this: if Gee, you thanks. Google that now, <laughs> you bring it up on the computer. <laughs> I don't. I don't know how we could do it without you, <laughs> Schmo. <laughs> <laughs> thanks You're for funny. calling in. <laughs> I'm sorry. Go ahead. Fucking with you. If you Google, if you Google the eagle, uh, wounded eagle, or eagle in your dream that uh, hurts. Uh, refers to a uh, something that would be stolen from you, something that you cherish or you pride uh, is stolen from you. No, kind ah, of. Well, here, so, okay. then, so read what you. Three or four days later. So Honey Bunny brought three it Three or up. four days later. Yeah. Yeah. No, just uh, really quickly. Three, three, four days later. Uh, that's when I caught her cheating on me. So I, I'm associating in that particular dream. And I got hundred. I love this topic. I got hundreds of dream references that we, we should talk about this again in another episode. But. Uh, um, yeah, that that you know that uh, the wounded bird, my ego and my my pride or my thing that they refer to uh, uh, value was stolen from me 
And that's what it, the dream, that's what Google came up with the dream meeting. And look at, look, lo and behold, uh, she cheated on me. So, anyways, I'll leave you guys with that. Wow. Yeah, absolutely. That's exactly, uh, pretty dream much that's what he's saying. Expressing hidden anger and extremely upset with someone, uh, something a person has done. But you're not able to fully express it. Yeah. Mm. So that definitely that is on the, the lines. Mark. Yeah, exactly. So he knew something was up. Like, let's be real. I'm telling you, you can never go against your gut. When your gut's telling you something, the gut is always right. Then the, then the head gets into it. It's like, oh, well, like maybe it's not. Maybe it's me. No. If your gut doesn't feel right, something's off. Yeah, absolutely. But you want to give that person the benefit of the doubt, right? So, I mean, but then he did end up Never. teaching her. Fool me once. Fool me, her. Fool me once. All right? That's it. Well, that's why I drink so much beer, too. Get what? the gut bigger. No, better sense of things. Better. Uh, better hey, no balls, two <laughs> strikes. Hey. Says he's got a gnarly dream. Hey. Said that he used to have a recurring All right. dream. All right, guys. All right, thanks, Shmo. See you, Shmo. Thank you I'm so much. Call- I'm calling in to stimulate other people calling in. Good, good luck, guys. Have fun without me, and I'll pick it up next week when I'm back. Love you guys. Miss All you right, guys. Sounds Take good. Care. Bye. Bye. So, No Balls Two Strikes said that he used to have a recurring dream where we're in a pack of lions led by one in a purple top hat cartwheeled into a hole in the ground. Bro. That bro, sounds amazing. Bro. Is that an yeah. acid trip or what? Tell me you were on something <laughs> when you dreamt sounds that. Sounds like shrooms. A pack of lions, the leader of the pack is in a purple top hat. As he approaches, cartwheels into a hole. I feel like Tim Burton or Disney should pick that the fuck that's up. Definitely yeah. Dr. Zeus. Like, it's like for cat sure. In a hat on, yeah, on that's steroids. what I'm feeling. I think yeah, yeah, yeah. I, Tim Burton on acid. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. For sure. On acid. <laughs> can you imagine that? Can it get that's, worse? Can it get darker? <laughs> yeah. Fuck, he's already dark enough. <laughs> fuck, that's crazy. The lion can only speak in rhymes. <laughs> oh so, my. smoke weed, problem solved, no more dreams, THC. Oh, I no. love it. I'll definitely dream. Ditto. I'll definitely <laughs> dream on high. You know what I mean? I don't like oh, I really have amazing remember dreams anything. when I'm high. Yeah. Amazing dreams. But you wake up and you're like, what the fuck just happened but to me? But I never have. And I used to struggle bad, bad as a kid with night terrors. I can't even say as a kid. I think right up until the age of maybe like 11. Like that's like you're already like in your own just bedroom. Yeah, for sure. Just nightmares. Like just I always felt like this terror at night. Like oh, like something bad and scary is gonna come. But happen. were you an avid horror watcher? Of course. Because but the I 80s didn't dream had, like some bomb ass fucking horror movies. But I like, never dreamt about like devils and witches and monsters. I dreamt about like the end of world Armageddon. Somebody with their finger on the trigger. Poof, nuclear awesome. fallout. There's no escaping it. Not even the roaches. That's the shit as a kid. <laughs> I would see. Be I terrified look forward. Of, what does that say about me? I look forward to moments like that, though. Where what, I'm like, the, the fuck, end of- just end it now, man. I have those end dreams now. now. Maybe I can buy a house <laughs> oh, under a rock. Okay. <laughs> Maybe Wait, you I know, can you do know that. those people out there that are preppers, right? They prep for the end of days and shit, right? Like there's they're preparing still people who do that. for people that, like, when there's no more food. You know what? When there's no more food, no more water, I want out. I don't want to survive that and go through all that <laughs> torment. I want out. I see you just some badass bitch who's going to rob a person with a bunch of guns and you're going to be like, yo, give me all your fucking Twinkies <laughs> right now. But for what? For what? The world's coming to an end. Do, you have, a, do you have a zombie apocalypse escape plan? Like, no, do you know no, what you're but, doing but a zombie apocalypse? Listen, my son and apocalypse? his no, friends I have. Always, I always feel like I'm going to be at work at the moment and <laughs> <laughs> when it breaks out. And I'm actually, out. <laughs> I've actually thought about this. No, and like, there's no way to get out. No, nothing. You know what I so mean? What, so what, you're, you're going to stick it out here? Yeah. and Hit I'm gonna, a Bass Pro I'm Mills be, for some, you know. I'm going to be <laughs> on the... That's no, my first store. There's definitely oh, yeah. hidden... That's everybody's first store. That's it. <laughs> That's, those are my two. I want, I want fucking... Weapons? Yo, the workers are still going to be like, membership? Where's your membership? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh my and God. I'm going to be on the roof fucking shooting zombies, doing what I can. And uh, we have a lot of satellites, so I'm going to be trying to communicate with other fucking idiots. That's, that's so how you, I So you would be like, I am happening. legend. If I there's guess, anybody yeah. out there, I will be at Lakeshore <laughs> and Windermere. Please. I, go come, I have food. I have food. I have shelter. You just told everybody where to come fucking kill you. <laughs> I never understood that. Like, hello. No, I won't do that. We're just going to send memes to each other. It's really <laughs> what we're going to hey, We're just going to tag each other in memes. What are you they? doing for the last few minutes? <laughs> hey, check it out. Looking for Sasquatch. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> you mean old friends from high school? I'm telling you, it's crazy. So what would you do? Last, you know, last days on earth, like you know the shit's gonna hit the fan. Do you try to fight it out and be like the preppers and live as long as you can to like repopulate the earth or are you calling it quits? I'm I think I'm I'm sticking it out. I'm going for the long haul. See, it's like a game then. Like how long can I like survive the game? And uh, you know. But what if your like whole family is gone and it's just, it's just fucking you. you and you have to yeah. deal with this shit? You just saw your kids eaten by zombies. I'm yeah. just relieved that I don't have to go to another Thanksgiving fucking dinner. <laughs> <laughs> like, you honestly, and me both. <laughs> like honestly, I'm gonna be like, you know what? They're better off. Yeah, they're they're in a better place now. Yeah, they are. <laughs> no, I think it would be harder with the family. Yeah, of right? course. That's what I think like, too. Yeah. At that point, you're running around and you're you're trying to save not Them. just yourself. Yeah, you're saving yeah. everybody. Yeah, hundred percent. And uh, yeah, you you can't. So that would be a tough go. I think you'd right? be more stressed out. I'd, I'd have a heart attack. Before and I, I feel like people. <laughs> people Jay, thanks for helping me out, Dad. Yeah. Like, people should with I bury you now or later? Just gonna sell them off. You know? Seriously. <laughs> so I watched. I mean, I watch a lot of post-apocalyptic movies. Like I love that shit because that makes me think of. You know, what would what I do, yeah. right? Like, what would you do? Well, how would I do it? If you think one plan is good and then in a mo- the movie it fails, you're like, nope, guess I'm on to plan B. No balls and two strikes says the first wave of zombies are actually just Roger's customers falling off the grid. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm okay with that. <laughs> they all go into panic mode. <gasps> yeah. I have no signal. Yeah. You know what? When that happened to me, I was actually up north. And I took a few days off from work, and I'm like, of course, the days I'm fucking off work yeah. <laughs> is when everything shuts the fuck down. Yeah, of course. Or the shit hit the fan. Right? It's just the universe saying, hey, fuck you. <laughs> what do you mean you want a day off? <laughs> not today, sister. Nope. But I get what, today. But also everyone else, but I had to claim vacation days. Fuck. That's my beef, okay? That's my oh beef. Oh my God. Okay, so wait. How many days, like, say all the food is gone? Gone. Okay, there's like only like off dirty the shelf? off the shelf or it's infected. You can't touch it. Nothing. All we have is like dirty lake water now. Whatever. You boil it up. No no issue. But no more food. How long before you start eating one another? Be honest. Oh. Uh, how I, long are do you, you going to give it a, you, Three days. Okay. Uh, fucking okay, three on days. Because I'm going to need to process e- that meat. We're eating yeah. misty, Okay. <laughs> We're just gonna put her on a spit and roast her up nice and slow. Nice and so slow. So, question: Is it going through the ass to the mouth, or is it going through the hoo ha, my pussy, out through the mouth? How are you gonna put me on a spit? I need to understand what my position is like, and is it flattering? Oh, <laughs> oh it's probably nothing's gonna be flattering. You're getting, oh, you're, it's not you're, gonna you're be getting spit roasted. Enough. Oh fuck! <laughs> but I'm gonna make it quick though. So don't worry All right. about it. Yeah. Oh my god! Terrible. So, would you eat people? I don't know. So I've thought about that, and I because you know always, it's actually happened. Oh yeah, right? yeah that movie Remind was alive, alive, when it alive. In but even before that, the the other ones that you know the Americans that got stuck in you know the Western side, mm-hmm. pretty much uh, oh, Jamestown or Jonestown, whatever. No, not Jonestown. No, they killed each other. <laughs> they no, they but took back that. in the 1600s, apparently, like Jamestown when they were trying to build Virginia, blah blah blah. Yes, there was like a huge yes, flooding. correct. And uh, there are rumors that they had to eat each other. Well, yeah. Not rumors, whatever. They yeah. had to eat each other no, to survive. No, historically, for sure. Jeffrey Dahmer, um, the people nomer. Yes. I think that he was just isolated and it just got out of hand, man. Oh, got out of hand. Um, yeah. But no, so I've thought about this, actually. And I always thought I could eat a human being in this situation. However, I did read a Reddit post about some dude who had his foot amputated. Yeah. And uh, they let him take it home, apparently. What? Oh, yeah. So I heard he, that. What? He, he made like a dinner party and everyone agreed that they would try his oh, foot. Oh, fuck off. And while I'm reading this, I'm actually dry heaving. I'm like, out of all the body parts. <laughs> There's like, wait, were the toes still on there with Where? the nails and the jam? I I honestly, it wasn't that descriptive. A little himself. jam, toe jam. Uh, but apparently no one could Disgusting. eat it. Obviously, it's the fucking foot. Yeah, like, there's what like, are you the, there's no fight over there's the no, top? There's no, like, uh, there's no, like, there's no meat. Yeah. There's no, what, are you going to have a tendon? Who the <laughs> fuck wants a non-attendant? He just wanted to finally chew his toenails without like, <laughs> anybody oh, judging. That's nasty. So ever since I read that post, I'm like, you know what? Maybe I can't do it. But no, I however. could eat a human for sure. Yeah. I think the perfect murder. You know, anybody that's going to fuck with me again, particularly a man, if they ever try to fuck with me again, happen once, we'll never let it happen again. <laughs> if it happens so again. Plan. Oh, Apparently. It, is, it is step by step. Explain from A step. to Z. No. <laughs> no I'm going to... 
incriminate myself. I plead the fifth. I mean, you okay. already did. No, but I'm saying, yes, I will do it, but prove it, motherfuckers. That's all I'm saying. So I would kill the person. I'm not going to say how or where. Then I would chop them up, process the meat properly, make a stew. And as I know the cops are coming, oh, we need to like search your house. Yeah, sure, absolutely. Here, where do you want me to sign? It's just about to have some dinner. You guys want to sit down and. Oh my God, you sick. <laughs> And have some dinner with you me. Would let's serve that like, piece let's talk of about it. I would, I would absolutely serve the pig. But what would you do pig. with like? The, <laughs> right. What would you do with the remains, like the bones acid, and the skin? Acid, baby, acid. Oh, okay, okay. okay. Powder that shit up. Oh, Jesus and that's how I do it, Mister Bond. <laughs> that's like, it. Explain You're your like master Mrs. plan. You're like Mrs. Lovitz with her fucking pies or whatever. Yes, right? yeah, from yeah. Uh, Sweeney. Yeah, that's Sweeney right. Sweeney Todd. Todd yeah. Yes, eat it. Eat yeah, it. Absolutely. I so. Yeah. Could you eat people if you're stranded, you know, Armageddon times or stranded on an island? Like, how long before you say, fuck, I'm starving, man? I don't know. I don't even like dark meat chicken. So, like, you don't like dark meat? I love dark meat. What? That's not my thing. dark meat. Wait, so you don't eat chicken wings? I do eat chicken wings. Drumsticks? Drumsticks, no. You don't eat the drumsticks. Like of the chicken wing or like you the drumstick? You are drumstick, drumstick. the drumstick, drumstick. The, no, no, I don't. The eat back you, feet. How? <laughs> I, I, how are you a black man that doesn't eat the dark meat of chicken? I'm I'm a breast man. Okay, <laughs> clear. Oh, oh, dry as fuck. When you make it. <laughs> No, no, I, no, no, no. I smother mayonnaise Listen, all over that shit. Parmesan. My chicken breasts are mint. Also, right? now chicken okay. breasts are no longer I'm dry. never, I'm never eating meat from this woman ever again. Okay. <laughs> yeah. White Listen, or dark. White you or dark. will <laughs> never know. Yeah. You guys want You're going to be like, God damn it, DZ, that's good. I'm you like, know what? Know. If you trick me, I'm going to be like, brav the fuck oh. And you, I you can see that. You people. see that beautifully tenderized fall off, uh, you know, like a <laughs> little, uh, what's it called? The roast rib or... Miss D's like, I just want to have some brewskis. I just want to take some pictures. I just want to take some pictures. Yeah, I just want to take some pictures. Oh my I'm god, that's that sick. I'm sick. I need. I need help. I agree. But in the right situation, you know what? No more food. I'm starving. Ah, uh, yeah, I'll give it a go. <laughs> what is messy from the dot Kool Aid in Mines Town? What uh, What are we talking about there? Hey, can we go oh, back and we Jonestown. stream back? That's uh, oh, Jonestown. Jonestown. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Jonestown. Yeah. Kool Aid. Yeah. That's right. They did drink the Kool Aid, and they got fucked up. I'm pretty sure that in rural rural parts of Alabama, eating people still exists. Bullshit. That's probably up in like the mountains of Virginia. We're talking ding 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 ding. ding, ding. Yeah. <laughs> that kind of white folk. You know what I mean? Like I would like the three three tooth. Wonder, you know, the guy with the gimpy eyes. Do you think they like sitting pick on the rocking that chair? person or wait till they die? No, I think they're I think they're like stuck they in the sacrificing? mountains or by themselves. Somebody comes around fucking around their yard. They don't like ah. strangers, and they, they're like, let's fuck, let's fuck with him. Let's play, let's play a game, family weird, you know, <laughs> psychotic <laughs> game. And then you know, it's squeal like, like a pig. Massacre shit. Yeah, 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 chainsaw yeah. massacre. Yeah, chainsaw massacre. The hills of eyes. You know, uh, what was the what was the movie with uh, squeal like a pig? Uh, <laughs> deliverance? Deliverance. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Great yeah. flick. <laughs> <laughs> can you imagine that poor son of a bitch? Oh, of course no. I can. Beady. Of course I can. Beady. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Andy great movie. Andy Dufresne fought them off real hard. <laughs> <laughs> that could have been his whole year. My yes. favorite line. <laughs> I like to say that some stories end with happy ending. <laughs> this was not this one was of them. This was not one of them. You know what? I would have started telling anywhere I fucking could after that, for sure. <laughs> oh, my God. All, All right. All right. So that was good. So we had a couple uh, situations there with some. So no sexual recurring dreams. No. I wish I had a sexual recurring dream. And then you just vary it a little bit. You think so? But what if like you're so over it and you're just like, oh yeah, my true. God, I fucking yeah. hate this person right now. Yeah, like marriage. <laughs> <laughs> well, then you just turn them over, I guess. Right? <laughs> We're, turn, like, turn them over or, or in a situation, just stick on the VR. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah. I'll stay with you. Whatever, suck my dick here. Let me let me see. Let, let me take a look at somebody yeah, else. Yeah. <laughs> I really hope she's watching it in the case, though. <laughs> oh, I know. He never it was that it part. was some good times. I enjoyed it. I got to tell you. I know we were all there. Did you take, did you take it home <laughs> for a weekend? <laughs> no, but I have ordered it. Oh, okay. I have ordered it, and I'm looking. The VR. Yeah, the VR. Okay. And okay. I just recently ordered. I didn't order it the weekend that uh, we were speaking about it. Totally forgot. But I just recently ordered it because my son's got a oh, family family week. You ordered it. Yeah, family day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Everybody, fuck off. 
Yeah, family day's over. Yeah. I gave you family Sunday, day. Monday's for mom. <laughs> 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 Monday, mom day. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. You deserve yeah. it. Masturbation Monday. Thank you. I do deserve it. All right. What about, uh, we talked about this, Honey Bunny, about uh, ladies getting triggered, right? Like about you, dreams? Yeah. yeah, yeah you yeah. have a dream, you know, you dream that maybe your partner's, you know, fucking around on you. You get pissed off. You of wake course, up and yeah. you give them nothing but stink eye for the rest of the day. Yeah, that definitely happens to me. Not uh, not often, but uh, I feel this, this What's tension. What's the dream? What's the dream? I want to hear. No, no, no. So I'll just... I don't know, like the last dream I had, I was at like a house party and it was just this feeling that he was fucking around. Like I didn't actually You didn't even see it. No, but it was just like this feeling of like, I don't see you, you must be inside someone else kind of thing. You know what I mean? And you just fuck. get these thoughts in your head and then you wake up and you're just like, Yo, fuck yourself right now, you know? <laughs> Like, and do, does he ask? Does he say, hey, like, what's your problem? No, because I'm usually a bitch in the morning, so yeah. it's okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm not a morning person <laughs> so either. So it happens, it happens. Yeah, not at all. Uh, but I have to calm myself down because I'm just like, yo, control yourself. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Well, what about yourself? For me, for sure, I get triggered in dreams. Uh, bad too where I not only will it make me upset and pissed and yeah. I take it off uh, take it out on you know yep. my partner but also it throws my whole day off I start yeah, to feel yeah. like really insecure about myself I can get emotional yeah like like physically emotional where I'm like either like sobbing or it's like what the fuck is wrong with you like exactly. I have to slap myself out with some cold water in the bathroom and be like bitch it was a dream right just like, you gotta pull yourself it. back I do. together I do. and you're just like but they, they do they get intense happen. they get intense but it's, it's I don't like it feeling that I can't suppress yeah you, you can't know shake what it. I mean yeah, yeah, yeah. I obviously it. know it didn't happen yeah you yeah. know so i didn't Zero even control fucking the dream see world. it in my dream it was just like what i thought i know it's, it happened. Per- it's terrible but chizzy has that ever occurred to you no i don't i don't get triggered wait dreams. what about your wife maybe not triggered wife or yeah. your, your yeah. friends you've never heard of any of your girlfriends like say oh, sh- about their guys like oh my god i had this dream and you know she's she's pretty sensible so uh if she has one of those dreams she's uh, like rude uh, he said that. <laughs> She, she recognizes I'm that like it, it's a dream and she doesn't take it out of me. But she just... Uh, she's still boiling inside. I'm telling yeah, you right now. Maybe she's not she telling you. No, no, she she's just not boil- taking it out on me. Mm. Yeah. So I'm not, I'm not and in... And kudos to her. You're not honestly. in the crosshairs. No. Kudos, kudos to she's her. She's not giving me stank Shit. eyes. Or whatever. She, maybe she goes, oh yeah, don't be crazy. <laughs> don't oh my crazy. God. But uh, and in my case, I don't really... I, if, I get stressed. I just don't sleep. So I... I don't. My stress doesn't transfer to my dreams. It yeah. just keeps me awake. Well, maybe because you're not going into like deep REM sleep, right? You need to go through REM sleep in order to hit the dream state. For sure, right? yeah. yeah. Or at least right before it. And yeah. it seems like you fight yourself listening to, you know, your reoccurring dreams that don't happen. Yeah, I don't. I don't have reoccurring <laughs> dreams. It's weird. Messi now from the dot to. is mentioning that dream hatred is so real. It is though. Messi from the dot, you've joined us on a few occasions. I do not know who you are. Everybody seems to assume that I know you. So why don't you be a brave soul and call us up? Call yeah. us up one nine seven nine two seven two forty three hundred. Let's hear you what know. You got let's for us. Uh, let's don't be shy. Let's uh, you know what? Let's play the who's messy from the dot game. Oh, I like it. Right? I like you can it. hide. You can you know disguise your voice, make it into something totally different. <laughs> 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 you know, and then you know, let's play find messy from the dot. What like dot it. are you in? I was saying a, a dream that I had earlier, um, and then Schmo called in. Mm-hmm. But it was the only dream that I've had in, in a, quite a while, and I woke up crying. Ooh. Aww. See? Yeah. So there is something that gets triggered there. So that's yeah. a trigger. So I was in the house by myself, and uh, I thought I heard a noise. And I have the knife by the bed. And then I wake up, and it's so vivid. And I go downstairs, and there's somebody standing in my front corridor. And I ask them to identify themselves, and they don't. So I, like, jab them. And Jesus. it's my oldest son. <gasps> Oh, that's Ooh. horrible. Yeah. That is twisted. And then it was. Uh, I have me never heard to, like, my son in a dream. Save him and, and figure it out. And I woke up and I was just covered in tears. Does, and- does he die in your dream? I'm sorry to bring this up, but I actually have like a, an Shit. interpretation for that. Do you see people die, like physically he die in a dream? I woke up before he, he died. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. No, so but he was I, dying. He was dying. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I guess bleeding out. Don't pull out the knife, man. If that mistake happens, <laughs> leave yeah. it in. Okay, is that, leave is it, it in. Is that what it is? Absolutely. Because if you pull it out, then it has something to, you know, 
flow out of and if you leave it in it will kind of just stay there until you can get but doesn't it care. also mean like if you actually see either yourself or somebody else actually dying the dream isn't that like more impactful like that means something a little bit more oh yeah specific so, for sure so actually it, it um interpretations is if you dream of death you're gonna hear interpretations of- folks we're we're picking <laughs> up new words around here is it a interpretation it's my fucking word <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna, words. we're gonna interpretations. Let's go for it. I'm down. I Let's like it. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. We're gonna create a new dictionary it's starting really tonight. Big, yeah, side puzzle. So like Vanderplump, right? <laughs> Last week, Henry. Uh, yeah, what did I call <laughs> Henry uh, uh, Hamlin? Hamlin. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah. what I called him. So Shit. no, if you dream of a death, you actually are gonna hear of a birth. So uh, back when I was a kid or what, whatever, I actually dreamt of my brother's funeral. Right? Did you see him dead, though? Or was oh, it yeah. just he the funeral? Oh, yeah. He was laying in a fucking <gasps> casket. Oh, and I actually dreamt at the same time he was having a joint funeral with my sister. Little did I know that uh, a few... Well, we're saving some bucks up in your yard, yeah, eh? Right. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Let's have a... Hey, let's I'm just keep it all to together. I'm favorite daughter, Let's okay? save some coin. <laughs> and let's fucking just put him on ice. She's almost dead. <laughs> let's let's do a joint funeral. That's fucked up. We only rented yeah. one casket. Let's make this work. <laughs> so what did what you go? What you go like toe to head? I toe don't even, head? No, no, they weren't like together in the same room. It seemed like different rooms. Now I'm thinking about it. But little did I know that a few weeks later that they both announced that they were having a child. So am I going to be a grandfather? Is that what you're saying? No, but you didn't see him die. Yeah, you didn't see oh, him. Okay. Yeah, you didn't see him dead. So exactly. death is like a rebirth of something. Exactly. That's okay. what it's supposed to be. And like apparently, if uh, a dead person person you dream of touches you like it's not a very good omen <laughs> all this bullshit if they but touch you like they yeah if no, they i haven't actually, seen it yeah. if they actually touch you it's supposed to not be really good not good at all i don't think i've seen anything or anyone like a person dead in my dream that they might be dying yes but then you know like certain interpretations mm-hmm. <laughs> right when it What's comes the to actual word? interpretation <laughs> oh yeah. what did i say I- interpretation oh, interpretation right? i don't know what whatever it was i loved it <laughs> if you dream about teeth falling out or rotting yes. teeth that's you know denotes huh. that somebody's to die soon oh really huh. so i've always read that uh it's a financial loss well really yeah no, I don't yeah. know about the maybe. Maybe if it's got like gold or silver in uh, the fillings. I don't know about that, but I've I've read yeah. that losing your teeth or whatever is financial loss for sure. Uh, well, yeah. there you go, loss of some sort. Yeah, right. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, and that my, has happened. In my dream, I need to grow more teeth. Then. <laughs> in order like to have some actual finances yeah right yeah. just <laughs> teeth coming out of everywhere yeah that's the lottery people holy shit teeth man what are, what are some other like really fucked up uh uh, like dream mood interpretations where you think if you dream this this happens we should Honestly, have a guest we should get we were talking about guests yeah, yeah I think that would be someone. a phenomenal guest let's google it let's start researching some local people right that, that do you know dream interpretations they can come in and discuss you know s- like we'll make a list of certain yeah, stuff yeah, yeah. I we think can have so. callers few, say hey this dreams. is what I've been Schmel dreaming said he had a lot of dreams yeah, to interpret yeah let's so talk about interpret. it Interpret. interpret interpret see there you i'm go. learning yeah. new things <laughs> this is also continued education folks <laughs> it's not just our side pod hustle it's esl for retards like us <laughs> i told you that in confidence <laughs> oh my god all right okay so let's pivot this one kind of i think we touched on it once but i wasn't here and i think was it Oh, you know when it could have been? It could have been when uh, when the cocaine cowboy was here. Or was it with you, Chiz? When you guys were asking about beard, no beard? Um, I, I couldn't, I couldn't I tell you which one. I couldn't tell you this afternoon, so I, I totally understand, yeah. right? But you have a goatee. I have a little goatee. Right? I've had it since I was like able to grow one. It's mm. never changed. Right? It's but changed you, colors. But you can grow it on the sides, but you just trim I, it down? I don't at all. Uh, it you can't me. grow it. I can. But yeah. it drives me insane because it just it it's itchy. Yeah. And under my uh, in my neck area, it's nothing but ingrown hairs. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah so yeah. I just don't. I just don't. I just keep bother the with go, it. Yeah. Go tea yeah. And, so uh, I was talking about it with uh, with some girlfriends, right? And we were talking about more in particular to if a guy goes down on a woman and he's got a beard. And I'm like, you guys into that? 
And it was funny. It was a nice little mixed bag. You know, some uh, I've got a girlfriend who's got, you know, a guy that she's dating. He's got that big Amish Mordecai kind of beard going on. Mm-hmm. Right? Like, and I'm like, so, like, how does that happen? Like, when you, psh, you know, when you splash and enjoy yourself. She's like, yeah, it can get pretty messy for the for him. You know what I mean? The little goatee. I, it I, sounds I've never like seen. his problem, though. Like, <laughs> at that point... <laughs> that you're particular selfish. moment you're just like you're yo can you go clean bitch. off it's fine it's fine <laughs> you know like he's actually the one waiting for you to bring the towel how the rules have changed right? ah very true right but, okay but, uh, so the Mordecai beard the the goatee what about what's it called when they got like that the Fu Manchu Oh, uh, handlebars? That? No, handlebars? that's the handlebar. Oh. The Fumanchu isn't like that Asian, the one that goes long yeah. and, you know. I don't think I've got, no, in, uh, got to flip it over. I've never had an opportunity to uh, ride that. Like, I don't know. <laughs> I, don't I, don't know man. I think anything that after like so much motion is going to turn into a dread, I don't think I want to be a part of it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't, like when you're making twisties in there, it's time. No, no. The little goatees, that's okay. Give it a little tickle yeah, down there. Yeah, something maintained, I guess. Yeah, yeah but yeah. I think if it's going to turn into a whole other hairstyle I mean, by the I, end of I the action. I guess I have no preference. However, if it's long enough, it does tickle the bum hole. You like that? So you, well. You like, you like a little, <laughs> like a little a rim. A little feather dust. A little brrr, <laughs> a little vibration in the ass. All oh. right. I like it. Yeah, but no no preference. So so you have a preference. And you like it clean or goatee? Well, no, typically I like it. Well, I'm, be- I'm going based on my experience. I've never had anybody go down on me with like a full-blown beard. Okay, right? okay. That's, uh, I've you know, goatee, yes. Aside from the goatee, no. Yeah. No. I can't imagine it because... I get aggressive. <laughs> I get aggressive. Again, it's and I'm his telling problem, you. Though. I'm telling you. But it would be my problem later because I like to kiss. Oh, fair you enough. You know? Okay, okay. Wap, Miss D. 100%, baby. <laughs> Messy from the dot. You are on point. You must know me. Clean up on aisle three. <laughs> I like, I like. Clean up on aisle three. I mean, I love tasting myself off his face. Don't we all? Yeah, right. <laughs> hey, pass me a Mentos. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you I'm saying. You got a Mentos? <laughs> yeah. I would, you know, yeah, I wasn't here for that one. But um, you were triggered, apparently. Yeah. Please, I, your thoughts. Really? He, he enjoyed our last podcast. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I wouldn't be having the conversation. I know, I know. And I have stipulations, though. All right. Okay, I, wait. So, just for for the for the viewers, for the <coughs> listeners that we have, in case you didn't catch last week, let's just bring you up to speed quickly. We won't delve too into it because we went pretty deep last week. Yeah. But we're talking about being caught in certain areas. I happen to say that I got caught in my garage with my m- boyfriend going down on me, legs up, one against the door, one on the dash. My son had a bad evening with his girl. Started walking out the back. Went to walk through the garage. Caught us. I got nervous. Mama Bear also kicked in, and I'm like, oh, my God, not only did he catch me, but he looks like he's struggling with something. So I asked my guy to, hey, go talk to him, see if he's okay. Yeah. So th- that, that brings us right up to speed. Right, right to here. Chizzy, right back to you. Yeah, so a couple questions. Give it to me. One, was your boyfriend living with you? No. Okay. And two, But he would stay over often. And two, how long have you had you been dating? Probably about two, three years. Two, three years. Yeah, we're like, we're in it. Okay, so it's a solid part. Yeah, it's solid not, partnership. It's not a- it wasn't a... Fuck, first of all, I'm not going to bring you to my house to eat me out with my kid there if you're a newbie. That's well, never going to happen. Well, I was saying even within the first year. That could happen within the first year. I guess, yeah, and, yeah. And yeah, you're right. My, my thing was if he okay, was... If, you, day, if you ain't day. eating my pussy by fucking the first week, we got a problem. <laughs> so first, yeah. uh, first year in, you're all in, so I'm I agree. Triggered. I'm not as triggered. But if it was like a kind of new relationship, hot and heavy, because that's... Hey, okay, the, right? so you're thinking this was new, it, a bit new, and it's like, what does that say about what you think about me, motherfucker? That new relationships <laughs> are hot, God, and hot and heavy. Oh, okay, so all fun. right, all right. So, what were you triggered about? The fact oh. that she asked him to go talk to her son, <laughs> yeah, or that because yeah. he says to me, he, he sends me a DM, vagina. and he's like, I straight up would not ask, <laughs> or no, he's like, I straight up would not go, yeah. <laughs> even if okay, you that's asked your me. Responsibility. <laughs> My brother would have knocked the fuck out of this too. <laughs> like I'm yeah. telling you, I don't even know. Oh, oh my yeah. god. He saw you 
If Spread eagle. He was no, and, and my hero was down there like a fucking true champ. Right. To get me to that point to just be like, just go. But I, I, I didn't even want to wait to go inside. Your first forearm was going through so much. He was going like, through something. Oh yeah. my god, I can't even. He deal just with needed this to right bounce, now. right? Yeah. And but there was a quick. Like my there was, can't there get was a worse. Re- <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <Shit>. <laughs> I just Fuck got mom. in a fight with my girl. My mom's face, my mom's pussy's buried in her man's face. I'm like, no, I'm out of here. Fuck this. Call yeah. it a day. Poor you guy. call it a day. Poor guy. I know, poor thing. Has he ever gotten close with a boyfriend since then? <laughs> Not really, actually. <laughs> Not really. I mean, he's super cool. Like, he's, he's incredible. I mean, obviously, you guys know I have an incredible relationship with my kid. And um, we're pretty open with one another with certain lines, definitive lines in the sand as to what, you know, I'm still the parent. We're mm-hmm. not best friends. We're good friends, but I'm still the parent. So the respect factor is there. But, um, yeah, you know what? That's a great question that you asked because I hadn't yeah. thought about that until now because I did have another partner after that, but years after that. And, um, yeah, the, the closeness there was more so just, you know, to be respectful and because, okay, like you're my mom's, you know, new fling sure, yeah, yeah right but never got as close as you know with the other one with your <laughs> pussy breath on yeah. his t- yeah <laughs> Yeah, but, pussy breath. Yeah. And she's like, "Are you okay, kid? Talk to me. Listen, I'm here for I you. am delicious. I'm just saying, okay. Do you imagine have a mentos? Convers- <laughs> can, can you imagine how that conversation went? Hey, champ. Well, no, yeah. it, well, we talked about it, right? Mint. So it, li- it literally it lasted like maybe thirty seconds. He went to go check on him. He's like, "Hey, buddy, like, are you okay? You seem like upset. Whatever. He's like, "Yeah, yeah, I just got to like, but you know, it'll be fine. Whatever. And he's like, "Okay, cool. Boom. Checked out. Yeah. I will- but I thought he was like amazing of the fact that he, you know, took. For that, sure, yeah, you know? yeah, absolutely. Yeah. He's so considered him Clearly a fucking he loved human. Me. Oh yeah. <laughs> Did he? The one who got away. <laughs> the one who got away. Fuck that. I'll get he him back. If I want sure. to, I will get him back. Ah. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. <laughs> the old boomerang. <laughs> See, that does happen. It does happen. It does. Whether it lasts nice or not effect. is to be uh to be determined. All right, so I have another funny story, and then you guys can let me know whether whether it happened to you, whether you've heard of the story that's happened amongst friends. Uh, for anybody that's listening, if you've experienced yourself, if you've heard some stories that you know are good to be a part and be engaging, by all means, we'd love to hear it either on the chat or call us in. So I recently heard of a story that just had me in tears of one of my guy friends. And as you know, I have a lot of my guy friends, right? So I always ask them, hey, like anything happened? So this happened to him recently went out on a date with a chick that he thought was like a dime Mm -hmm. and uh he's all getting all like you know close to the end of the night they're you know fucking around in his living room and that she starts uh she starts going down on him but that she had like mad halitosis man that is like the ultimate bad breath and i said to him but i don't understand you're out on a date with her Right, like, how did you not sense that at the beginning? Yeah. Picked her up. She was chewing gum throughout the evening. She had gum or mint in her mouth, and then the alcohol. But now, a couple hours had gone by. She's loosened up. She's got yeah. the breath of the dragon. And it's just fire. Oh. You know, it's just like that's fucking where you horrible. see where you see steam coming out from her oh mouth in the dark. Oh my god! Like, and she's sucking his dick, and he's like, "Okay, we're good." He could smell it We're from there. good. How bad is that? Holy shit. Nightmare. If I was a guy, I'd be like, you're, you're, you're almost conflicted. Do you let her finish? <laughs> well, you men do. Are fucking pigs. Like the disgusting men are pig pigs, you are. All right? And men then, are pigs. So what do men do in that situation? Yeah, what would you do? Because girls are usually like, I just got my period. I need to go. My, oh my girlfriend is dying. Up. I need to leave. What do men do in that situation? Similar, similar but not similar story. Uh, strip club. Younger Chizzy it was, was a two dollar ho night. Oh, it might as well. Three <laughs> oh, sure a deal. Three drinks. That is a. How do you pass up a deal? So dirty deals. <laughs> sitting right up front, pervert row. Girl comes up. Oh, you do skid row. Oh yeah. Ugh. There's Ugh. other locations. Shiza, I baby, I, I go VIP. <laughs> if I'm gonna go to a peeler, I'm gonna go VIP. Oh, we'll go together. Let's okay. do it. Uh, so girl on stage comes up. Does the old straddle on the shoulders? I almost threw up. Oh, almost threw up. Oh, oh, my, oh my god, god. she had a medical condition. No, <laughs> no. fuck. I uh, guess yeah, called Ugh. five dudes in one night. Okay, yeah. Yeah. that's yeah, what yeah. It that's, is. that's called yeah. no scope or crest in the bathroom. <laughs> it's called like that, that should be mandatory. That though. should be mandatory if you are a peeler, if you are a hooker, if you are a stripper, whatever. 
in those, you know, establishments, there should be all kinds of mouthwash and everything in there. Well, Strawberry I, did not smell <laughs> the part. <Ew. laughs> I feel like it's more a self-respect thing. It honestly yeah, like these, is. Yeah, like these bitches have self-respect. Come on. Well, they might be going through med school. You don't know oh, the that, situation. Is that right? <laughs> well, no. They, those what ones, day was no, this see, on, though? I, I because disagree. Because Monday nights are I think fucking the ones, tough. I think the ones that are now educated and doing the sex trade yeah, for yeah. extra money, I think those are the ones that are going into like that whole, uh, you know, call service. Yeah, yeah. Right, the call exactly, girl service. Yeah. But I think the dirty, the <laughs> dirty hoodies, okay, are the ones that are still... <laughs> down the pool. It could have been day shift. Yeah. I'm not sure. <laughs> or you got some rusty poles going oh, on around Jesus there. Christ. <laughs> you know? Yeah, so I just moved a couple seats down. Nice. Yeah, that's what I did. Oh, my God. But look, that's motherfucker doesn't gross. leave. No, yeah, no. He just, is there a comment Best card? Best in town. <laughs> is there a comment <laughs> card? Uh, stra- what was the name? Strawberry? Strawberry, yeah. Strawberry shortcakes. Cakes past due. Yeah. <laughs> right. There's a little extra cream that's not doing so well in that <laughs> strawberry. Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah. Strawberries and cream went it. sour. It was expired <laughs> months ago. Jesus Nasty. Christ. That's disgusting. Yeah, that's pretty gross. See, yeah. that's every Shameless. girl's worst fear, though. No, I don't no, know no, about no. Strippers, but like to actually stink down there. You yeah. know well, what I mean? Like, yeah, and I think you know, and that is also perpetuated by how often men will talk about the way pussies smell. Yeah. So then we have a mature panel, and we've always heard that you know, we nobody wants like the super squeaky clean where you don't smell anything fresh out of the shower pussy. Mm-hmm. That's just there to that it's there. But at the end of the day, I think pheromones come up, have, play a big piece into it. And I want to, I don't want to smell gross, right? But I still, these are, this is how my body smells, yeah, right? Yeah. Where it's just you, your, your, te- your temperatures change, right? Yeah. And when you go down there and it's like, it's, it's pussy, it's, it's a woman, yeah, but it's exactly. not gross, right? I think if uh, people are spraying like perfume or putting fucking deodorant and shit down there, like that's, uh, that, it's I, think, I think, but I think that's perpetuated by, you know, men. Right, I think men talk about that way more than women. Well, women react to that. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, you know? what else are they going to talk about, though? <laughs> well, there's yeah, besides I guess there's, their schlong. I guess there's a fine line between like awesome and you know, ew. so it's just a matter, and it goes the same with guys too. Like, you can go down there and it doesn't smell the greatest. It's kind of off-putting, I would assume. So yes, well, yes. of course it is because yeah. you're wondering what the fuck is actually down there. Well, it's like you know when what I, I mean? learned what the fuck smegma was. Oh yeah. my right? god, I had no idea what that was, and Fucking that was gross. shocking to mm-hmm. me. <laughs> Just <laughs> utterly. Sh- Why aren't women talking more about this situation? Oh, we need to. You know, the to. slightest little you know chick that had a bad day or her pH balance is off. Mm-hmm. That's it. It's gonna cross the board. All women's pussies. I, stink. You know, I feel Bullshit. like it's, it's taboo for a woman to talk about a man who's uncut, right? How is that taboo? How is that taboo? I feel like... But then we can talk about the smell of women's pussy. We never talked about it. You know what I mean? So girls aren't going to want to talk about... What the fuck they found in between the foreskin and the actual penis? You know what I mean? So, right. <laughs> but, but you would though, right? To your to your girlfriend. Yeah, for sure. But I also wouldn't partake. I in would it. straight up <laughs> tell the dude. Yeah, yeah, if, absolutely. First of all, the uncut stitch is not yeah. my bag, right? But if it was to hit that situation and I'm peeling down the layers, <laughs> and there's like cottage cheese curdled of up course, along the I rim, mean, I would straight up say. You need to go see a doctor immediately. No, it's not even that. I mean, I wouldn't know what it was. Even if he's healthy and he actually uh, urinates properly, he's gonna oh, that's see right. that it's leftover pee. He's gonna well, dead Fuck, skin. I forgot about that. There's a lot that. of stuff. There's a lot of stuff going on. <laughs> Whatever. Sh- <coughs> shouldn't be there. <laughs> that's not good. That's not good. It shouldn't be that's there. Not snowflake. But <laughs> it's not snowflake. <laughs> I'm assuming he urinated somewhat. You know, being with you. And then he would have seen that and cleaned himself up. So to me, it's just you're not taking care of yourself. Agreed. At the you end guys of it, would know and more like, about why do you want that? No, it, no, we you've don't. Seen more uncut pe- penises than I have. Well, well apparently honey, I honey have. Then, has. then uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, no, I definitely. I've never had one live, live and direct. No. Hmm. Oh, like I've staring seen, at yeah, you? Yeah, like I've seen like uh, online, so I know what it looks like, but I haven't like been with one. Correct. Uh, I see. I see. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I've never really been with a, a dirty one. Maybe with like a long-term boyfriend, but then I will. What tell do you mean by him? dirty? Like, 
like, like a dirty dick? With, yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay. You know what Amsterdam. I mean? Like, <laughs> what? Yes, exactly. Am- yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dirty dick. There's a place in Amsterdam called Dirty, dirty Dicks. Dicks. Oh, okay, okay. It makes sense. Yeah. For us people who don't They had the a lineup across the street. Yeah. <laughs> Nasty. Oh, no. <laughs> Nasty. <laughs> All right, no. so keeping keeping on uh, keeping on some like dick and, and sex topics. There, we were talking about one a little bit earlier with respect to any earned injuries or any fucked up shit. You know where? Oh, we can talk about a that, cut, yeah. a bruise, a bend, uh, blood. You know, like an injury that has occurred. Yeah, <laughs> during <laughs> you know sex. I mean, well, you get the uh, females. You get your well. I'm speaking from experience. You get that typical, you know, doing a doggy cell or whatever, and your head's just banging against the fucking, you know. I don't the, mind that. Either the back. I don't, I don't but mind that. But it's still the, an injury, right? You still have to explain time to, time. <laughs> to people <laughs> what you've got. What happened? You know Valentine's, what I mean? Valentine's. Enough yeah. said. What do you have Say a bruise on less. one side of your forehead? <laughs> Say less. And everyone knows, though, but they just want you to fucking say it to them. Look in their eyes and say, I got railed super hard and (laughs) didn't give a fuck. He knocked me unconscious. Hey, that's the only time I want my head, you know, banged for any reason (laughs) is if it's, you know, get to fucking. No, but I've uh, one of my injuries in particular was uh, I asked to be slapped. I tried to, you know. Be a little rebellious and uh, sexy. A little bit more kinky. Now slapped you know on I mean? the ass or like no, straight across the face. <laughs> 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 Fucking honey bunny takes it to a whole other level. So I, I was just you know feeling it out. I just wanted to experience Let's it. See what that's like. And so he tapped me a couple times, and then you know I kept asking harder, and then he fucking backhand me like I owe the motherfucking money. No, okay, and I like back- saw. Hand. Not, yeah. not forward. No, no, backhand. <laughs> Probably because you're like, hurt or shut yeah. the fuck up. <laughs> and then Dana White came in the room and said, you got talent, This is the best I got, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> do you, how do you like it now? How do you like it? <laughs> Meanwhile, you're like, knock on conscious. Yeah. Honestly, so I was on top and I saw stars. Okay? I was wow. literally like, So this means oh that the God. whole choke situation elevated. To, I want to get slapped out. Yeah, absolutely. I like, I like we've spoken yeah, about little, this. We like a little pressure. bit of the choke, right? Yeah. A little, that, that could be sexy. Yeah, for sure. It got to a point where Honey Bunny's like, we need to we need to up the ante here. <laughs> well, I just okay. wanted to experience Double down, it. slap and, me out. You know, when you're young and you're experimenting, you want to know your limit. I found out <laughs> the hard way. No pun when intended. When you see stars, you know, you've gone too far. <laughs> You've got That's your limit, okay? Yeah, no safe word can get you out of that one. Oh, it's too late. <laughs> You're fucking muttering it <laughs> just, after it's done. Just, just drooling. <laughs> <laughs> it's a sexy <laughs> drool. <laughs> Chiz, what about you? You um, fucked or retarded? Just the typical stuff, like the, the back of the legs. It. The back of the legs just seizing up. I need a bite. Oh, well, wait, wait, wait. Like like a cramp? Like it's a like leg a cramp? Huge, like a huge, like. Okay, wait. Horse. I need to know position. Position, doggy, doggy, okay, and you're like up, right, or you're like keeled over her, kind of keeled over. All right, and just, okay, that's hot. Yeah, yeah, I can see that's that's not the most comfortable for the legs. No, and then it just they just go, rip. Shoot. yeah, and then you're like ah, oh my god. So just, so if you get if you get a leg cramp in that situation, does it make you lose your heart on? Uh, sometimes. Really? Eh? Depends on how bad it is. Because women get like cramps too, but we get it more kind of like in the upper. Th- like out hip area, okay. right? Certain positions, if, if it locks into place, then you're like, oh my god, and you got like you want to stretch out the leg, yeah. but then that turns into like a weird sexual position. Just give me a second, I'm cramping, <laughs> cramping, motherfucker, just give me a second. So yeah, so that happens, but it's not like I lose, like it doesn't take me out of my sexy mode. Yeah. But I don't have a hard on, right? Women don't get hard ons. Yeah, all the the blood flows back into the brain, and then it's just like concentrating on pain. Oh fuck. Oh, uh, that sucks. Yeah, so... So that's it? Just fucking leg cramps? Leg cramps. Uh, one time, knocked a girl in the face, gave her bloody nose. Oh, okay. Oh, my gosh. So speaking of bloody noses, this one, this one's bad. But it was hot and fucked up at the same time. So I'm having sex, mm-hmm. right? Getting all worked up. We're in front of, like, the sink, like the island, right? So then he goes from behind... And I don't know, like I just felt like a, like a drip. So I went like this yeah. and I noticed that my nose was bleeding. I'm like, oh shit. So I quietly, by myself, I haven't mentioned anything because he's, you know, I'm enjoying myself and he's enjoying himself from yeah. behind. So I'm just like, okay, as I'm doing this, a gusher, it just starts. And I'm like, okay, wait, stop. 
So he pulls out. I go to get some Kleenex, right? I put it up against my nose. I try to attend to it. Doesn't matter. It's just, it's coming down. There's no stopping it. I'm like, oh my God. And I'm embarrassed, right? I'm like, I'm, oh, this is so not sexy. And I'm like with the Kleenex on the nose trying to mm-hmm. make it stop. And I'm like, I'm so sorry. Doesn't doesn't he fucking grab my ass and he's like it looks okay to me and he goes fucking <laughs> back in he went back in bro uh. and i'm like guys have like no empathy no sympathy it's like if you're down i'm down in the moment holy shit so that that was a little bit of shocking to me and i'm just like what the fuck and i remember uh a honey bunny telling me a story mm-hmm. that you know it's it's a close <laughs> it's a close tie to that one where she's in the car she's having sex in the car then she starts getting nauseous so rolls down the window starts puking there was no pause there was no (laughs) there was no pause from her guy in the back he's just going the the convulsions yeah the convulsions (laughs) the convulsions felt good because of the (laughs) just going at it the contractions made the pussy go tight. He's yeah. like, do it again. And he fucking giving me the fucking Heimlich while, yeah. <laughs> while he's working her. <laughs> just so that he can get it all. That's fucked up. That is some fucked up shit. Oh, my God. Um, Schmo had one where, and I think of the guests that we had last week as well. They were talking about how they felt like their dick would break. Now, obviously, mm. there's no bone in there. It's all tissue and tendon, and I get it. And he was saying it's kind of like a, like a pulled groin. Yeah. Right? Has that ever happened? Have you, have you ever hit, hit the, felt that? Is that what it is when you ass? hit the pelt? The ass? oh, look at you, the ass. So yeah. you hit ass. They were saying they hit the pelvic bone, right? Where the pelvic bone hits, you know, the dick too hard, and then ah, uh, you just you go out. You slide I think up. it's you wrong hit, positioning. And it just goes. <sighs> Fuck. Yeah, that shit's gotta hurt. Bends. And then it hurts every single time that it gets hard again. Oh no, not too. Just an instant shocker. All right. Yeah, it's not. Uh, so who was it? No balls, uh, no balls, and two strikes. Was saying that uh, his injury or his, uh, his his situation in bed was that he had a girl that wouldn't try it's stop trying, trying to bite, to bite his face. face. Wow. <laughs> so I like little bites and nibbles. I don't know if I've ever gone for the face. You know, a little like bite a on the ch- neck. Yeah. You know. Hey, I ended up telling your story about you puking out your window while getting railed from behind, <laughs> yeah. right? And that he didn't stop and just says it's because of the contractions of you regurgitating that made the pussy go tighter, so he liked it. <laughs> Do it again. Why is he going to tell you to I stop? I work on my Kegels every day. I don't know if it's that. <laughs> but clearly he you. liked it. I believe you. Yeah. Yeah. Or he's just a fucking pig. One of the two. Um, that, well, that's what I'm saying. Guys have no threshold for anything. They'll take it. I mean, Schmo's been shit on. <laughs> right, He's and been he just on. cleaned that bitch right up. Yeah, and yeah. took her into the shower and I, said, "Let's finish off." <laughs> I said, "Don't worry about it. We're good. You're good." I like how he covered that up and was like, "I want her to feel good." Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fucking, I you're my, you're my hero. Okay, Jesus Christ, honestly, she has a good story to tell for the rest of her life. Oh, that's I wouldn't tell that story to a fucking soul. What are you talking about? <laughs> well, I'm, I'm, I'm s- getting I'm getting railed. Right? And then all of a sudden, some bad food came out the wrong way. No. That would never be told. If that ever happened to me, th- that shit goes to the grave. You think so? I know so. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking <laughs> shit while fucking. All right? like that, that is that. I would have been story. like, this guy was so fucking dirty. I shit on him and he, <laughs> and he loved it. Yeah. He loved it. Ugh. Oh, that's gross. No, no, we can't go back into that one. Let's, let's not do that. Okay, okay. All right, so give me hot Carl. Actually, give me some of your uh, some of I, your. I know. I'm trying. I'm trying to think honestly. Um, okay, anything petty that you or a friend has done, or even an ex that has done onto you, uh, to get your attention. To get your attention. Yeah, yeah. To make it see. You know what I mean? Like. Uh, okay, so petty means like you're gonna do something that's like pretty annoying and childish and. Yeah. You know, it's to piss the other person off. That's so if you're it. trying to get my attention, why would you try to piss me off? Just to like Any stick attention. it in your face? Yeah, exactly. So what I did, um, I broke up with my ex, right? And I found out that he was seeing other people. 
right? Mm. And I was just like, what? Immediately after the breakup? Pretty much. And you broke much. up with him? Yeah. So you 100%. know, you really, yeah. you really had no. No, no. But I reason. was just, I was being petty, and I sure. felt petty for yeah. a moment. You know what perfect, I mean? So, perfect explanation. So he, so I was still kind of, you know, thinking. Uh, should we be together? Blah, blah, blah. I still had all those stupid fucking thoughts in my head. <laughs> so I had him over one night and he's telling me about this girl. You know, they're getting serious. Meanwhile, he's in my fucking bed. And he's like, oh, uh, she wants to do, you know, this thing on Valentine's Day. And I'm like, oh, yeah, OK, let's do it. And then I invited him over for Valentine's Day and he fucking came over and totally blew that broad off. So I felt good that he wasn't doing that stupid shit. That with you took fuck- him away yeah. from that other chick. That's exactly it. Right. And what I did was I ate too much food and fucking passed out on him and then kicked him out. I said, go the fuck home. It's a work night. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. And yeah, that forever, is pretty petty. They're going to have that relationship knowing that that in the back of their mind. So I was petty as fuck. That's my story. See, I, I don't think I ever got petty because I was the I was the one that got hurt. <laughs> oh, you poor right. <laughs> I hate to say, considering the experiences I've had in my life, right? Um, that yeah, I'm usually the one that gets hurt. I always think about what I would do to get back at somebody to just be like, "Fuck you." Of course, you know, yeah. Like, you obviously think all that shit, but like, then- fuck all his friends, right? And then tell him, "Hey, I never told you when we were together." But ask them and look them in the eye and tell me I'm a liar. <laughs> you know, <laughs> like I, I think about that. So I don't know. You should. You should definitely have done that. Absolutely. Yeah, but I wouldn't fuck his friends. But. I know they're fucking uh, gross, right? <laughs> like you can't fuck, you can't fuck your guys' friends. Gross. You're with the guy. I agree. And I agree with that. You know. I can't even look at them now, man. <laughs> I see them on the street and I fucking run the other way. Like yeah, I don't yeah. fuck. But uh, he actually fucking did something petty to me. He called me. Hence the revenge. He did. He did have revenge. All so right. this was like a year and a half later. After, you know, we've totally separated, we, you know, we're not in each other's lives, we don't talk to each other, blah, blah, blah. He called me from a fucking radio station, and um, I didn't know it was a radio station. he worked at the radio station? No, no, he called in, so he was a caller. So he's like dedicating a song kind of thing? No, no, so they three-wayed me, they didn't tell (gasps) me it was the radio, but I have... It's like a radio gimmick thing. I have a beautiful fucking caller ID, and it said, I don't know if I can say it, anyway, some local Toronto... WKRP or something. sure. In that might be a real. <laughs> Where's your soul music now? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, and it was him, and he's like, "Oh, I still love you." Blah blah blah, all this shit, and I was just like, "What the fuck are you talking about?" It's like <laughs> eight in the morning, and I told you I'm not a morning person. Hey, but that's amazing because all you did was call him out on the air. Yeah, I was like, "What the fuck are you saying <laughs> to me right now?" And they're like, "Oh, you're on the radio." I was like, "Did you know this guy fucking abused me?" And then hung up. So oh. apparently he felt the need to text me after the fact and was like, "Oh, I was just trying to get tickets. Thanks for being a good sport." Oh, what an asshole! I'm like, oh. "Wow, even but- worse." Because <gasps> wow. imagine, imagine you actually still had like some, you know. However, feelings there. I and if you would have said something like, oh, oh my God. And then the fucker's just doing it yeah, for tickets. So, so the game. Burn the, his house down. The whole game was um, call someone and like confess your love. The motherfucker could have called a friend. Yeah. He could have called his own cousin. girlfriend. Yeah. 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 called his own girlfriend. Oh, what a dick move. And You're then, right. But. That's a dick move. They went to that concert knowing that I got those tickets for him. So fuck you. No. Fuck I, you. I, I disagree Sorry. with you. I what still think he won on that one. You think Just so? take the L, babe. Really? Just take the L. For sure. Dallas Green. You gave him He's tickets. got two good songs. I don't even know who that is, so fuck it. City and Color? color. Nope. All right, that's cool. Exactly. Yeah. Nope. Okay. I'm but out. they're sitting there knowing sitting that I in got black those and white. fucking <laughs> tickets for him. Yet another fucking thing. Fuck you. You're welcome. It took me forever to know that Dallas Green and City and Color is like... It's Dallas, it's a city, and green is a color. So that's the correlation between Dallas green and city. As well. Oh, really? I never knew that until right now. Yeah. And what is it? What is it? Are they an alternative or like no, no, rock you, or metal? You, you what? Like it. it's, it's kind yeah, of alternative. Yeah, Alexis on fire. We said that, right? No, we said city and color. Okay, he also Alexis did Alexis. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alexis on fire is like the rock version of, like, has light guitar y, folky moments. Yeah. But then screamo stuff. Okay. Where 
City in Color is just the the light kind of. Y- you've heard some of their songs, like yeah. Imagine sure. Dragons or something like that. Even lighter. Yeah. Really. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Like lighter, as in I'm gonna go to sleep. Yeah. Like, yeah. Well, not my bag. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't fucking pay for that shit. What a waste of money. Go to concert. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm back. <laughs> he got those tickets from me. <laughs> so not only did you give him free concert tickets, you gave him a good rest. Absolutely. <laughs> right? Took a nice little nappy naps. Yeah. Serves you right. Go yeah. enjoy that concert. With your Fuck bitch. Yeah. Fuck that. Thanks, Fuck producer. That. So, All right. Give it to me, honey bunny. I, I what really, you got? Okay. So, uh, so talking about dating people, how hard is playing too hard? Like, when is your fucking... As in playing hard to get? Yeah, thank you. <laughs> okay. Thank How hard you. is playing too hard? How do you mean I play pretty hard? <laughs> and they love it. <laughs> so, so hard to get. Yeah, so what's your fucking cutoff? Where you're just like, yo, this dude just isn't getting it. This girl isn't getting it. Like, I'm just fucking done with this whole situation. So where you're playing hard to get, or that they're playing hard to get? It doesn't matter. Well, sure it matters. Because if I'm playing hard to get, I'll know I'll... I'll play it to up to the point where I feel like. So why would you play hard to get? Like what's well, your, think, what's your I angle think hard on that? To get, I think hard to get is a bit of a dated term for me personally. Is it friend zoning? I think so. <laughs> no, no, no. Playing hard to get is more like I'm not gonna fuck you on the first date. Oh. You know, like for nowadays <laughs> that doesn't even exist. I don't even think playing hard to get exists anymore. Because people just give it up left, right, and center doesn't mean anything, you know. Mm-hmm. STDs mm-hmm. seem to be like a suggestion for like Gen Zers, you know. They don't like. What do you mean? Like, what's the problem? I pulled out. Uh, okay, herp. <laughs> right. You're gonna get herp dick. You're gonna get syphilis. you know chlamydia. Like yeah. is syphilis even still a thing? Absolutely, Wasn't that from, like it the is. 1800s. Of man? course it was. Is it still a thing now? A- it is. Absolutely. Wow. <laughs> See, that's fucked up. <laughs> See, this is why I play hard to get. Cause I need to find out your fucking medical history. I need to find out how we are par. You know, yeah. So I think for me, if I am doing it, you know, to me it's just kind of like assessing and putting some time in between the person that I'm going to be with. But, but is playing that- hard to get okay. maybe back in the day when I was younger was more like the game of how much is he going to chase me? I see. Yeah, you know, because we thing. do crave that as sure, females. Of course. For sure. It's a, it's a sense of being pursued. We, yeah, we, right? we want that. Yeah. Chizzy? Uh, as, when I was younger, I was a professional um, uh, friend to most females in my <laughs> in my area. area. I, I oh, you poor, unfortunate souls. I know, right? I, yeah. And I got older and learned how to crack that code. But, um, <laughs> but in the beginning, when I when I was uh, like just learning about dating and stuff like that, I, I couldn't I couldn't I didn't know which way to go. Like I couldn't I always got friend zoned because they play hard to get. Yeah. And, and you wouldn't I'd, get I'd, it. I'd be too nice. <laughs> and they're like, You're the best person I know. Oh, I'm gonna go that. date Jimmy. <laughs> oh my God. He's a bad boy. You poor yeah. thing. Yeah. yeah. You poor thing. So uh, Well they played hard to get and he did not get it. Yeah. I did not get it. Right? Yeah, no. you it went over your head on that one. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that would okay. make sense that's why you'd okay. be friend zoned. What about you? How many times have you played hard to get? Uh, I don't. <laughs> my point <laughs> exactly. I rest my case, folks. No, <laughs> okay? I mean, if you are a millennial and you're at the I don't give a fuck stage. Yeah, I'm also not a fucking whore. You know what I mean? But if if I do like the person, it's my choice if I want to speak sure. with you. Sure. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm going to make that conscious decision. Absolutely. You know? So, yeah. I don't know. I don't, I, I don't really think I, I play hard to get, but I'm also not. So what would you think is too much then? Like for a guy to be like, oh, fuck this bitch. I'm over it. I, I chased you for a bit. Now it's too much. I feel I'm like out. the girls who constantly uh, want something. You know oh, what I mean? Like the, yeah, yeah fuck the those gifts. Bitches. Like just see what yeah, they yeah, can yeah. get out of out of the whole interaction. You know you can get a motherfucking job. Yeah, exactly. How about that? How about you take care of your own business? Anything <laughs> extra that he gives you is just cherries. Mm-hmm. Where I'm independent and I yeah, don't, I don't need that. Job. Where if they give me something, I'm like, why do I need this? I can buy it or myself. Or I'll be like, oh, like you really didn't have to. Yeah. Can I exchange it? <laughs> <laughs> yes, you can. Absolutely, right? Because the thought was there. Or the yeah, thought was yeah, there. Yeah. It it I love that. I absolutely love that. Yeah. There's some really like, you know, the youngins are like, oh my God, the bitch, she was like, she wasn't even grateful. No, she's grateful. She wasn't expecting it. But, you know, you took something that was just a surprise kind of gift. You can't get offended if it's like, 
you know, I've been given some terrible gifts in the past, mm-hmm. right? Like lingerie that I'm looking at it like, who do you want to fuck? Because <laughs> it clearly ain't me <laughs> if you're giving me this kind of like weird ass shit, like yeah. ugly and cheap. And, you know, yeah, I'm yeah. like, but, uh, you know, but at the same token, you can say, well, it doesn't fit. Maybe I can find something else. There's tact. Yeah, absolutely. You know, there's, there's tact. Yeah, you have to have yeah. some tact. Yeah. Yeah, all right. So what's on your list? So kind of keeping on that, you know, I was recently told uh, by, a, by a really close girlfriend of mine. Actually, you both know her, but we will keep her incognito. And she was saying, you know, she's a well-established woman, you know, professional, attractive, super dope, fun, cool to hang out with. All the good stuff that, you know, you know men or women are looking for in a, in a woman. And she was saying that she feels that Toronto... That women in Toronto specifically have lowered the standards for men by always like immediately paying for them, say off the jump, right? Or giving everything up like too easily. And then men feel like there's there's no sense of chase, right? Why pursue anything with any sort of, you know, you know, chivalry behind it? Nothing. And she th- she's actually putting the blame back on women. Because women are the ones that are making it seem like, well, you know what, you don't, you don't really have to try for me, you know. And I think that's disheartening. Number one, <laughs> fucking intolerable mm-hmm. for me, right? I'll give you an example. She met with this guy. Um, you know, they were getting along well. They went out. She decided, like, you know what, I like this guy. He's handsome. He's, you know, making me feel nice. We're having a good time this evening. Mm-hmm. She takes, she covers the, the bill, right? I'm all for the ladies, by the way. To if you're in a relationship and you're digging your man and you love your man or you love your girl, pay for her, pay for him, right? On occasions, yeah, treat each right? other, treat absolutely. each other, absolutely. Yeah. But when it's the early stages of a hetero relationship, let me be clear on that one as well, is where the woman's like all in, taking care of him, doing everything for him, and then they're they turn into these like, well, whatever kind of guys. So then the next time that she they go out, she invites him over to her place. Doesn't this motherfucker show up with half a bottle of wine no. already opened? Uh, half? Half. Did he did he drink thirsty, it on his I got thirsty and on the drink subway, it on his okay. way up? So, <laughs> like how gross is that? So it was no cork, obviously. Holy, no, fuck it. Twist. <laughs> little twisty. Little the twisty. Yeah, twisty Some Miss Jackson twist. Triggs. How <laughs> fucking pathetic of a man do you have to be? You or know? even a person, like no, no, but her for her specifically, it was a guy. Yeah, like how she already paid for you a nice dinner, drinks, and everything, and you were the fucking lowest scumbag on the planet that, that you show up with half bottle of booze. That's uh, Bo- why? Fuck, you know that what? Ain't fucking you know, booze. I would have left him at the door. I'm like, dude, no, like you obviously need that more than I do. So maybe take your sorry ass home. Maybe I'm good. maybe COVID that hit him pathetic. hard. <laughs> no, there's no excuse for that. That was that was brutal. I thought, yeah, I thought I thought that was super weird. Absolutely, fucking brutal. Cheap, yeah. cheap, cheap, cheap. I, man. I think it goes the other way too, though. When there's a whole TikTok has taught me that there's a whole um, <laughs> TikTok education in the fucking two years it's been <laughs> out. Yeah, group group of people on Tinder and these dating apps that just line up dates every single first dates sure. every single. They cast night. a big net. Yeah, and yes. then they the the women will go out and then they. Um, they have these expensive meals, and then they just ghost a guy. But they just line up so many because guys, if they get a match on these on these dating apps, it's, but a it's big a, thing. It's the same thing. It, it goes both ways. Men and women are doing you, it. Uh, women have a l- larger pool to choose from than men do. I disagree, and I'm I'm leaning more towards when you had your firstborn here. He was actually saying that his generation, everything seems a little bit more challenged, right? That before it was men chasing women, his generation, mm-hmm. he said, you know, the women are chasing the guys. That could be. Right? So the the paradigm has shifted. Yeah. Right? And he's saying that obviously because due to inflation, things are a little tougher for guys nowadays. But it's also because they're not getting paid what they once used to. Like a, our younger years, right? Yeah. Is, like making 15 bucks an hour was like wow oh yeah you could live right? for weeks off correct off that. Where, where now it's like it's what, is, is that even minimum wage what is minimum wage I don't I don't actually know I don't know is it 15 bucks yeah, yeah like that's but sad back when I was dating myself but we just dated myself by saying that my oldest dates it's 15.50 um, an hour sorry guys <laughs> yeah mine was 6.40 wow back what on. your first paycheck my I, first I don't remember minimum wage my first job paycheck. was 6.40 an hour I just care. All I cared about was that number one, I was allowed to work. Yeah. 
right? Because I came up with a very strict upbringing. And number two, that I had money that I didn't have to ask my mom for. Right. right? That a, was the a great only feeling. reason I wanted to work. Yeah. We used to travel all the time. We would go down. We'd actually drive. We used to live in Calgary. We used to drive from Calgary to Mexico. Usually take about three, four days. Oh, my days, God. Right? Well, we would have, like, the motorhome, yeah. right? And uh, we would do the drive. Always stop in Vegas. That's why I've been to Vegas, like, nine times. Um And that's how, you know, when we would travel and we'd be in Mexico for like the summer, so two months, Mm -hmm. every time I wanted something, hey, mom, can I get this? Can I? Nope. No, you can't. So then when we would go back, I would get upset. And I'm like, you never let me have like, you know, she's like, well, get a job. And I did. Mm -hmm. Because then that was the one time and never, you can't say shit to me anymore. (laughs) And I've got my own money. (laughs) Can I get this? I'm getting it. That's all there is to it. I'm leaving here with something. Uh, My first job, I was... Uh, 14 years old. Ah, mine, I was 11. And that's not even legal, but I was working for some Vietnamese uh, owners of a donut shop. Which is legal there. <laughs> well, no, it was here. It was, it was here in like, you know, um, in Canada. And then you can work, but I did not have a social insurance number, so they yep. would pay cash. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Smart people. I was 11. Yeah. I delivered flyers. Yes, you did. You, yeah, okay. Your yeah. paper route, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. and then I had a paper route. And my sister had a paper out, and my parents would make me do hers and then give her the page out. Oh, fuck, fuck what a that. jip. What a jip. Oh, yeah, I wouldn't, yeah. Like, yeah. No. But I did it, and then, that, well, I did it half that the time, is and then later. I just, I just <laughs> dumped the flyers in the, uh, in the park later. You're fuck. such a good brother, honest. I hope you fucked all her friends. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know, right? To God. I know. Holy, There's got to be some sort I'd be of payback. holding down my sibling, be like, yeah, I gave her the paycheck, and be like, give me the fuck money yeah. like that's what i would be <laughs> i think it was one that. give me the money. two cents per flyer i got paid or something like that. what the yeah. but wait you what? also had to build them right like put them together oh, yeah. you get them on what a nightmare <laughs> imagine what that living room looked like paper oh, stacks God. everywhere no nightmare no. nightmare no. and then you go from like super cheap men to to guys that you know want their balls slapped so now let's let's unpack this for a minute so same girl established woman okay. right Went from, you know, going out, trading a guy. Was this the same night with one no, glass no, of no, wine no, in no, her? No, no, oh, okay. no, no, no. Did, did, did same me. person, different situation. Okay, this is what okay. I'm saying. She got some bad luck with men. And then she comes up and she's like, then then I go from having a guy go on or ask me to slap his balls. And I'm thinking, like, how is that possible? Like, you, you flick a dick, right? And you make a guy buckle. Yeah. Now you're asking him to slap his balls. Like, I, yeah. how, are you, how are you not going to pass out? I don't know. Um, that would but he not actually, on my list of things to do. I guess not. I would hope not, bro. No. <laughs> you know, but he actually <laughs> went on, you know, his hands and knees. Oh, and wow. Got said, into position. said, do it like this and hit his balls from behind <laughs> and said, giddy up. So he, he's desensitized <laughs> to the whole situation. Whatever it is. He had a whole demo happening in her living room. Get on room. your back and just and she's like, do this. <laughs> Just do this. <laughs> Just can you meow at the same time? <laughs> yeah. Is what I'm envisioning, speed actually. Bag. Oh, speed, speed bag, bag. My bag. <laughs> speed bag, my bag. Yeah. So then it freaked her out so much. This is 7 o'clock in the morning. She bounces from the guy's place, grabs her coat, says, okay, bye. Was in such shock, she called up one of her <laughs> close guy friends and says, i got to talk to you about something, man. Is this a thing? Is this a thing? And uh, yeah, so that was a lo and behold, yeah, it's a thing. apparently. But I mean, that's got to be like like one percenters. Yeah, I've yet to meet a guy that you touch their bag, and they don't, you know, just call, start calling medic. Well, I've never had a guy ask for it, and let, let alone, alone let alone ask for it. <laughs> get into position, yeah. yeah, for you to fucking smack away. But then again, you know, if you think about it, right, the the sadomasochistic guy out there, yeah, right, he wants to be hurt. Like okay, so on, maybe like, it was that, and he was just heels, like introducing a her onto into, the bag. Oh yeah. Jesus Christ! <laughs> I saw that in a movie. I can't remember yeah, what yeah, movie yeah. it was. I don't know. I, I lose it if I get a cramp, as we discussed yeah. earlier. So. <laughs> no, <laughs> <laughs> you are you are jacked. Out. You are done. weak. You're done. <laughs> Nobody's stepping on my nuts. So oh I'm my like, yep, yeah. I'm if the cramp is putting you out, yeah. <laughs> the ball stepping. Yeah. Oh, There's no safe word here. There's maybe nothing. Maybe you should yeah. try it. Maybe the safe word is ow. Fuck. Get off me, bitch. It's a safe word. Yeah. It oh is. my god, that's it fucked up. Is. Ugh. I can't. I can't imagine that being a thing. No, I. I just. That's that's very personalized. Uh, you know, brand of what they want. 
and they've visualized it in their head and it's, it means something to them. I don't know what it means. Maybe it was something in childhood. Do you have a name for your dick or your balls? Uh, no, I don't. Not, never, never, not even as a, when you were younger? No. Or your friends, your your bandmates? No, I... They were not calling their I, I, member I, I, anything like Ja or Chubb? No, the schlong. If they, if that's they, what they call it, though. And you know, you warrior. know, you know, it's a man that's putting these names together. We don't of think of that. Of course it is. But here's, you know, here's the other the thing: the bus stone. It's always aggressive too. It's never like, Have hey, ever, Mikey. No, yeah. what the bus stone, the schnoz, it? the sausage. Yeah. Like it's always like mm, angry. The one-eyed monster. Like it's ah! always, I, like, no, I don't, we don't I, go I to each other. Understand. We're like, hey, Paul, would you name your dick? Well, but, but it's got to come but, up but, somehow. And how? Okay, there's an entire dick dictionary out there. How was that created if it wasn't for men? I need to know. Most oh. normal guys don't name their stuff. Vladimir 007 says Vladimir. most normal. Well, then why is there so many names for it? Who came up with these names? I guarantee you it was not women. So, 007, Vadmar. I disagree. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm maybe I'm a rare breed. Never named it. Never measured it. Just <laughs> Mesh- <laughs> measure. It. Oh yeah, yeah that, that, that's, that's a, definitely a thing. I was Most telling guys Chiz, have measured their I was telling Chiz, that is a confident man. I don't name it and I don't measure it. <laughs> if you hear it, I'm here. <laughs> Most guys hey, would name it. Good measure for their right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely, that's good. I agree with that. Um, but yeah, I, I, you have probably heard more names for a guy's junk that he would call it. To you than he would explain to his friends. So you're not in the locker room and you're like, oh my sausage. Yeah. <laughs> my weenus. Yeah. Just my go, weenus. Yeah. Uh, hey. Give him a quick graze. <laughs> and then uh, uh you know, what'd you name it? That, what'd you that, name that it? looked like a sausage. You almost hit Trevor and Corey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. For all oh my, my trailer God. park fans out there. Oh my the God. The whole seven people. Not yeah. the ones with confidence. See, like there's a whole there's a whole banter going on with men. You know, I think men who are have that confidence don't name it. Maybe it's like the the immature, you know, kind of guy. Immature, come on. Yeah, maybe yeah. like a th- thirteen like year old or whatever. But yeah, not, yeah, no, so, yeah. Get older. Because I've I've never heard of somebody that I'm with or even friends like you know as women we talk yeah. where they'll say, oh my god, my guy named his you know dick this or my girlfriend named her pussy you know. Yeah. You know, I've never know. named that, but uh, I was with an ex where he called his like the stallion or whatever, ah. and it was the furthest thing. Oh my god! From a fucking stallion. <laughs> hey, yeah. hey, Italian stallion. There wasn't much of a stallion there. The little colt. <laughs> his little fucking don't, donkey don't over there. Don't pay attention to my little trot. I'm trying. <laughs> Instead of getting in there and being like a true stallion, it's a little trot. I've still got the weak leg, the Bambi legs going on. He wouldn't even get through that that's before pathetic. it was finished. That's a, like, see, huh? that's that's fucking embarrassing. If I it was is. a guy and I had a small dick, and then I had the audacity to fucking name it, I know, right? Let it at least right. be like a Just baby's hit, arm hit holding an apple. My little pony. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. Just that's done. sad. That's yeah. what I should have done. Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, I got one. I got okay, we're gonna pivot. But this one's good, it's funny. Pivot. Okay, pivot. <laughs> so moaning factors and faces during okay. sex. Okay? okay, I got So this. moaning factor, what I'm referring to is what do we like? What do we hear? What have we experienced, right? The big loud moaner, right? The screamer. Yeah. Ah, ah, I, I wanna punch that bitch out. <laughs> okay, that's <laughs> There's, there's no need for that. I'm not that right? good. It's okay, babe. Yeah, I like the moaning. <laughs> I like it to get aggressive, sure, right? But when it starts going into like the typical porn, the oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, I can't handle it. You I just like can't. I mean, you I can't. practiced. I watch a lot of porn, bro. That's all it is. I watch a lot of porn. I'm, we went up three viewers since she's oh, done that. that? Oh, man. <laughs> No, um, maybe when I was in uh, high school, I would probably be more porn starry. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Like, I definitely, definitely learned that I don't need to do that. Uh, but I used to bang a guy who had a face. Every time he came, he would stick his tongue out. Like, like Jordan? Wait, like on Jordan. his way in. No. So like you're, you're what? What do you mean on his way in? Like when he's coming? Yeah, when he's coming, he goes, oh, yeah. <laughs> 
like, and stick his tongue out to the fucking left, okay? And it threw me off every fucking time. I thought this motherfucker was having a stroke every single time. And He's stroking out. It did amazing yes. things. Yes. It did amazing things to my confidence. Because I was like, I'm making this guy retarded. And if he dies, he <laughs> fucking <laughs> dies. Drink. <laughs> yes, that was fantastic. <laughs> So, uh, shout out to you. But if I wanted to go, that would be a way to go. You know, I don't want to suffer. Fucking I don't want to be in pain. Yeah. Just to the point, like rigor mortis, immediate rigor mortis, <laughs> as I'm coming. <laughs> and if my heart gives out, that would be your last words out. too, right? Yeah. I'm coming. <laughs> I'm coming. <laughs> to the grace of God, open the gates. Oh, God. And oh, if, God. Oh, if God. I need I'm to coming. detour and go down, oh, fuck you guys, I'll go down. Uh, but any any weird O faces for you or so faces are always hilarious. It's you know it's women when we orgasm it's beautiful. It's always beautiful. It's always like a oh and it's happening. Guys doesn't matter how cool you try to look, right? Oh, yeah. It's always funny. Okay, it's always <laughs> fucking comedic. You know from the. Oh, the tight, squeezy face, right? To the, oh my God, oh my God. And then, you know, just, you know, they go they go left side. Either way, it's absolutely hilarious. It is, it is. But I did have an experience where the there was no moaning. And at climax, dead silence. You know, so it's like happening. It's like, oh my God. So I'm like, I come. And then I'm like waiting for it. And I'm like, what do you mean? I'm not even, I'm not even hearing like feedback. Like, oh yeah, that's good. Oh, this fantastic baby slapping the ass. Nothing. And then all of a sudden, <laughs> sounded like, you know, like a really constipated shit. Like a baby shitting. <laughs> you know, like you turn around <laughs> when the diarrhea is going to go up the back. <laughs> or you just know there's a like. mess and you're like, fuck me. Yes, yes, exactly. So I turn around and I'm like, what the fuck? His face was beet red, beet red. Like I thought, like the the neck veins oh busting my out. Oh my god! And I'm like, what? Like, just let it out, man. Enjoy it. <laughs> Don't punish yourself. <laughs> Who's around? We're adults, you know. Like, let it yeah. out. Let it out. So, did he ever express like why he was no, so that's, silent that was about just, it? That was his thing, and I'm like. <laughs> Fucking thank God you hit me from behind. Because if I had to see that, fuck, I might check out. I'm like, I don't know what that is. I'm not enjoying this. This looks aggressive. You know, not in a good way. Yeah. So that was uh, that. That was one that made me laugh. Your your fucking Bell's palsy sitch. <laughs> okay. The Michael that, Jordan tongue coming out the side. That would have killed me if I saw. Uh. Air come. You know, while I'm just on top, I'm like, is he okay? <laughs> But you don't stop. Happen. You don't stop. Hey, hey. You know. Oh Are my you god. Fine? Yeah. <laughs> hey, you guys. Hey. I know you do. You guys. I got wonder it. how he's doing now. Oh yeah. fuck. <laughs> Those, those are some good times. Men making sounds is hot as fuck. It's weird when you're unsure if they're done. Of course, it's weird. Because it's like there's no feedback. Like, are you enjoying it? Are you taking notes? Like, what's happening back? Little bit of, you know, you know reassurance? Something. Yeah, yeah. You know, a, a huff and a puff on occasion. You know, I'm not asking you to <laughs> talk me through a situation here, but. <sighs> oh, yeah. No, I've, de- I've never had a guy who's absolutely silent. Yeah, yeah, no, it was weird. For sh- it was yeah. weird. That yeah. would be I threw, weird. I threw my whole game off. Right. Snowball like Two Strikes says he always needs a confirmation text, like an Amazon delivery. Take a picture of the small of her back. Oh, what? Because you pulled out and came on her back. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! Wait a second. <laughs> that you always said. Oh, okay, got yeah. it. <laughs> Listen, I've had, a, like I've a had a couple. I've had a couple of drinks in me. It took me a second to reread that. Wipe that off like a gentleman. That is a gentleman. If you basically pull out and be like, you roll onto bed and like, oh, that was great. And the chick's like fucking like, um, right. <laughs> you want to, before that drips down my I'm crack. I'm just going to go to the bathroom. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's oh what I do. God. As soon as I start feeling I get cold, yeah. I will start fucking dry heaving. Like, go no tomorrow. Get. I cannot do cum. I cannot do it at all. I will. I will do what I need to and that's it. But, but, you, but, that, but you are good at giving head. Well, yeah, I'm yeah. in my 30s and no children. So you suck. What, what? You quit before they come? No, not or at they all. Come, what, but like they come, they... <laughs> <laughs> No, bad, bad. 
Stop! Suck that the fucking hair, bro! <laughs> oh my god. Okay, okay, so clearly you don't stop, but you spit, is what you're yeah, saying. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. I mean, I've, I've tried to swallow, and it's just like, it's not, it's not good for me. <laughs> This is not a side pod hustle. <laughs> it's just if not good. Somebody so doesn't I'll just almost I'll just do the whole porn star thing, and I'll be like, <laughs> <laughs> oh and like God. keep th- the make them think that I'm so into it. Meanwhile, I'm like, oh my god, <laughs> yeah, I'm choking on it. Oh my God. Oh, we gotta get we gotta get you guys to almost puke or something. I gotta figure that shit out. We will find it. We'll find it. We're we hey, we're digging deep. Okay, so eventually we're gonna hit it. All right, eventually. But yeah, I can't I can't do cum. Oh, but what about fuck. you? Can you do cum? Oh, speaking of cum, like don't you notice like a, a <laughs> <Can> flavors <laughs> for both sexes, baby? <laughs> what do you mean? I wouldn't be good at what I do. If I didn't, but you notice that there's different flavors of within within the type of man. Of course, yeah. Of Can course. you elaborate on that or no? For men or women or for both? Do both. Fuck it. All right, let's entertain so, them all. So for women, yes, a hundred percent. You there's different flavors of uh, pussy juice. You know, the black of the berry, the sweet of the juice. <laughs> Almost fermented <laughs> is my favorite. <laughs> and then when it comes to, you know, and it, again, a lot of it has to do with diet. Yeah. Right? So if you are, let, perhaps, maybe some South Asian persuasion. Mm, I eat see, a lot okay, of spicy yeah. food. Mm-hmm. Why is it spicy? Why is it spicy? You're right? <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, wow, it's a little different. <laughs> a little funky. Do you ever, like, sweat a bucket, though? And you're just like, no. shit. <laughs> Get the food sweats. No, no, never, never, no. If it's going to go into like acid reflux, sitch, oh. you play around there a little bit, splash some water, and then say, no, let's, let's get to fucking now. <laughs> let's cool you down for a second. <laughs> Clearly, my lap speed caused some friction. Are you ready to stop causing an additional scent I wasn't looking forward to? <laughs> so, but from a flavor perspective, it kind of, it kind of mimics that. Yeah, absolutely. For guys, I don't know, probably from a... Uh, See, I don't have it in my I mouth have, long enough for I'm like, to think, mm, like what is even something comparable to to like come, whether it's a woman's come or a guy's come. Uh, like uh, if you say we've eaten or drank this in the past, this is what it tastes like, there really isn't anything like that. No, not at all. But I can't the texture I can for sure. So there's a, a tapas place in Toronto. Uh, I'll give you the details. With the texture of cum? Yeah. So they served like this this (laughs) fucking egg yolk with like some bacon. It was super salty. Okay. And I was at a dinner party and we all. Oh, so you taste the super salty cum? Oh my God. So we all, we all like. There there is, yes. Yeah. We all, we all had one. Right. And I was just like, I don't know. I'm not really into like raw (laughs) eggs, you know? Anyway. So I was, I was uh, recommended to eat this. So I fucking popped it in my mouth and right away it burst in my mouth and I just look at my girlfriend with like tears in my eyes I was like puke. bitch I can't swallow this <laughs> 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 they are all <laughs> watching me <laughs> and I actually oh <laughs> fucking gagged oh. at dinner and then fucking spit it in a, in a Kleenex or whatever wow. but I couldn't do it so the texture for that was okay was so, 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 so texture, and it was so I got it. salty so salty. Anyway, so no balls, two strikes. We've been taught forced that a pineapple pre is where it's up for. So okay, so yes, pineapple. There is something in pineapple for both men and women, but it actually has a tendency to working better for women because it helps with our pH balance. So it ends up being a bit of a more of a sweeter hint. Hawaiian pizza you know? for all. That's what no, I say. No, that's gross. What do you mean, fucking? Pineapple on pizza? It's fucking Disgusting. amazing. No, no it's no. amazing. That's I have like to that's argue not that. my go-to, that's but like, I'll eat it. That's like salty dick with a little hint of pineapple. <laughs> <laughs> Are you calling pizza dick? <laughs> no, because he's saying that you know guys are told to eat a lot of pineapple. It makes their their see. I've jizz never tested that out because I'm better. like I don't, I want to try out different fruits. Like what you taste like. Like that's never crossed. Have you my ever mind. heard about the orange while giving head? Oh, the grapefruit thing? or the grapefruit. It's grapefruit. Oh, it's grapefruit. And those sound have, effects. Have you are, tried it? 
No, I've never wrapped a grapefruit Sam- around his dick and be like. <laughs> I think I'm gonna. I think I want to try it. I have not. I have not tried it, but I heard of it. Unless you're into grapefruits, do something. What different. if I do like an orange? Yeah, orange for sure. Something right? citrusy. Yeah, gra- grapefruit. The bitterness is gonna exactly. throw off my. Throw you some know. sugar on that. Yeah, I know. want it to be almost like uh, aromatherapy. So I got the citrus smell, and then you got the sweetness. You think this is gonna change your fucking life? <laughs> No, this could just be, you know, a new extracurricular. Try it out. I'm definitely not going to shame you on that. All right. And let us know. I know you wouldn't. Let us know how it goes. Would you, uh, have you tried any uh, grapefruit oranges? Uh, uh, Clementine. I I probably wouldn't be able to use the orange, but the grapefruit, but, um, uh. (laughs) You're such (laughs) a nut. (laughs) Fucking Double grapefruits, by the way. Double grapefruits, (laughs) yeah. Um, no, no. I saw the video, though. Uh, it's on YouTube of, of the woman giving the grapefruit. Yeah, it's an entire lesson. It's an absolutely. Lesson. Yeah, yeah. But, but it, what's she doing it on? Like a, uh, like a yeah. dildo? Yeah. Oh, what's okay. it that? The yeah, I can't even remember. Well, obviously, it's the it sound. wouldn't. The sound. It's the sound. 100%. What, what, what it no, she's like... <laughs> Oh, like shit! Oh, we'll, like we'll watch water. It yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. It's well, definitely. Here, you well, bring definitely. It up and make yeah. Everybody watch it, but <laughs> I don't but. know if we're allowed to. I don't even know how to do that, but yeah. that's why uh, we need him here. How is it after your man has eaten asparagus? It's not just man; it's women too. Oh, yeah, it's that- aspartic acid, hence the name. Yeah, is what causes the scent of that in our urine. That is the most terrifying thing What's for that? me. Asparagus. Why? Because I always forget that I ate asparagus, oh, fuck. and then later, and then you pee. I pee, Slap and I in think the face. something's wrong with me. <laughs> I think I'm dying instantly. Oh my god, I had a fucking vegetable. I'm <laughs> dying. Like that's no, no, it's the smell. Well, yeah, it's it can it be very you, yeah, but, but see, for me, I would just know, immediately know it's the, from the asparagus. Right? But that two, one to two seconds I'm, I'm where seeing, you forgot. I'm seeing a big giant pussy. You know, when I look at you, you're afraid of the dark. You're hearing shit at night. Yep. You know, you're cry- you're waking up crying. Uh huh. And now asparagus is a fear. Yeah. For a second. <laughs> for <laughs> the least. first two yeah. seconds. So for your temporary pussy from time to time. No, I'm a sensitive soul. No, oh, yeah, okay. I like it. <laughs> sensitive soul. What a crock of shit. What a crock of shit. It's the grossest sounding video anyone has ever experienced. No balls to strike. The grapefruit. Absolutely, the grapefruit. It is. Yeah. yeah, it's fucking traumatizing. It, is it? Oh, so, yeah. like, you like to give head. I like to give head. Yeah, yeah. Right. So you're saying that those sounds gross you out? I dig it. No, I mean, oh, no, no. the oh, last it's different. You have I gotta to, watch it. To watch. The right, last watch time it. I watched it was at Not work. Not a lot shocks me because I was showing a coworker, so I kind of got traumatized by it. But it's it's very sloppy okay. for sure. I wasn't like, oh yeah, I need my fucking. But aren't the best rock. heads typically sloppy? Oh yeah, one hundred percent. You know, like <laughs> you know, when when my when my ex boyfriend comes up and he's got to wipe the face, that's a good time. It is. That it's is a, extremely you're doing good something time. right. <laughs> you're doing something right. The only thing that I don't like that is sloppy are kisses. Bad well, kisses, yeah, for sure. Bad kisses for me is like it, I don't know. It's like an immediate fuck. Like you're a zero. Mm. Beat it. You know, like if you have a shitty kiss, big sloppy kiss. Or I think I was telling you this one time about the the guy with like the massive lap speed. If you know, and then and anybody goes like this, his lap speed's too fast. You know, she starts to push his head down. Yeah. <laughs> turn, turn that French kiss into an Australian. <laughs> there you go. Exactly. Go down under. <laughs> you just fucking you take control at that moment yeah. and fucking. That's good. But can you imagine actually make, tr- make, trying to make out with uh, you know your partner? And she's like, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, what are you doing? What are you doing? You're not eating my pussy. We're yeah, making out. It's fucking. Can, right. can we differentiate it's the lips? for sure. All right. You, you got to feel the moment. You know what I mean? Yeah. And no one's fucking doing that. <laughs> like, no one is doing hey, wait, that. Wait, what, what about your guy that starts from afar? Right? <laughs> <laughs> you mean when I was a fucking child? <laughs> yes. 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 Can you imagine that? Can you imagine the kiss starting from far away? That's fucking it, embarrassing it for that person. It was fucking weird. I feel bad for Can that. you imagine a motherfucker it's approaching weird. you like it's that? It's weird. No, it's weird. And he's just throwing off my vibe. And I love to kiss. It's like, just you're coming, coming at me. You're coming at me like, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Not only did he come at me like that, he touched my face like that. Okay? Oh my, so you felt tongue? No, just open mouth. Oh my God. I and, didn't and like, know what to do with and it. And like hot air. I did. Yeah. Wait, and is this like a first kiss or is this no like this is a, when i like started to venture i knew a kiss wasn't like, like yeah to like you, like you've that. already been kissing but yeah. maybe every now and listen i don't think there's anything wrong with I kissing with your eyes open was you can't keep them open all the time yeah but on occasional you know the look into the eyes is okay but to sure. keep them open and be like 
<laughs> I don't know. That would wake me up. <laughs> <laughs> it would fucking wake me up. You open your eyes and I'm you sorry. just stare at your soul. I say, yeah, like, <laughs> so I open my eyes and I'm like, wait, what are you doing? When is she going to knock the what fuck out? What is happening here? Yeah, That's all no. I would think. Oh, no, no. So, no, he would open, he would, uh, like, try to kiss me with, like, an open mouth. Like, a full bass mouth. <laughs> <laughs> and oh. he's like he's about he's to coming. receive a cock okay and i didn't know how to take it i didn't at all so it traumatized me from making out yeah and yeah, uh, that would that's totally when i learned how to suck off. dick before so here, making out here's a question for the ladies on the panel who are better kissers because we know that you both have dabbled listen the, or, the fast Ms. laughing D is more than dabbled <laughs> Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and say females. Speed. Females. One hundred percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I don't know. For me, yeah. Fem- I'm not no, gonna listen. take anything away listen, from the fem- men. Females but- are very good, uh, but like normal human beings, there's you know on occasion you'll find, sorry, a young little lady friend that she's she gets a little timid or intimidated, mm-hmm. right? And she's great at everything. But then not the greatest kisser and you're like, mm. and then when she's like, well, fuck it, I suck at kissing. So let's get started on everything else. And then fucking rocks my world. Yeah. Gotcha. Right. But at the same token, I've also had guys that have been phenomenal kissers, like the melt, just like an utter melt. Like, oh, my God, take me now. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> like it's, like it's, and they it's, just it gets don't up. know what to do beyond yeah. that. No. Or then you get the guys that are like fucking suck at kissing altogether. And it's like, how do you even get beyond that? Mm-hmm. You know, if, absolutely. If yeah. you're amazing at kissing and then you get to, you know, fucking and it's amazing, it's because it started off really, really well. Mm-hmm. Where when you're a bad kisser, it, you can't even get me to the next stage because I'd be like, fuck, what a waste. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, wasting I my don't even want to try. I don't even want to try. Shit. Get out. Yeah. <laughs> Just give me your jacket. <laughs> get the fuck out. Yeah. Gotcha. No good. No bueno. What, what about you? Some scary. Bad kissers in your past? Uh, probably a couple. Or just wait, were you the bad yeah, kisser? Yeah, I was about to follow past. up with that. Uh, I don't think so. Um, <laughs> but would I know? Listen, you hung out at the apartment quite a bit. Okay, there was not a huge standard of chicks that hung out there on a reg, and you were there on a reg. Oh yeah, like that is your after school special. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, I used to go to that place all the time. It was great. But, wait, wait um, was that like a club or something? Yeah, it was a club downtown. Yeah, right? oh, small club okay. bar, right? Very into like the rock alternative kind of scene. Yeah, right. Uh, no, it's yeah, the top they, forty. They, they, yeah, top, top forty. Okay, okay. Top 40. Oh yeah. 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 But there was definitely the very cash yeah. kind of. They, they no definitely Jessica, had Spirit none. of the West play at some point in the night and like the little, little Irish thing and and then everybody's <laughs> jumping around. Yeah, just yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it was what it was. So what? clearly that uh, that clientele must have spawned a couple bad yeah, kisses I'm sure at, at the 2 a. M. There was you know the sloppiness. corner dark corner of the bar. Yeah, I'm sure at two a.m. there was some sloppiness, but. Uh, you know, at that point, you don't really care. You're, you're I like, was gonna oh say God. maybe men don't give a fuck as much I'm as we do. You, they don't. Well, they we've don't. Ex- have we've spoken about several subject matters? <laughs> you puking, he's still fucking you. My nose gushing blood, they're still fucking me. All right, they're all in. They are. Wait, you know, you know what's super fucking gross? You ever see those people that when they talk, they got that little white spittle? Oh uh, yeah. The, do I? Have and that? The, no, 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 no. <laughs> That's my tenant now. Mouth? It's, it's the no, toothpaste. No, that's gross, I'm bro. Tenny. I cannot. I cannot. I can't. But when you're talking that. to them and you're just constantly like, yeah, uh, yeah, all right, yeah, 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 all right, and yeah. you can't just help but like make sure that you're clean. I, I'd, I'd stare. I'd stare and be like, <laughs> can we can just uh, get a little. <laughs> You know, or just point and be like, go wash your mouth, man. Fucking well, if you're drink close some enough, water. Yeah, Are you that exactly. dehydrated? <laughs> drink some fucking. Here, here, let me throw you a bone. The paste. Oh, fuck. Oh, Ew. Paste. It's gross. Ah. Gross. And it's I. Schmagma for the mouth. <laughs> ah. Is that how you pronounce it? Schmagma? Schmagma. Schmagma. Yeah. What did I call it? Smegma? It's, it's like. It's the same thing. Same thing? Yeah. Just say it like Dr. Evil. That's say what I can train. Schmagma. Yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> Okay, well, what's on your list? The legs, ass. I don't know. <laughs> so, <laughs> it just popped in my head. I had that, to say that it. was fucking <laughs> random. <laughs> <laughs> what was that bitch's name? She was fucking funny, man. Um, 
Uh, Frau, know, Frau Misima. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it popped in my head because I was on, on a call with one of my, my family members on my You know what the best part, too, is when yeah. Dr. Evil <laughs> actually jerks from, from here on her show. Every it. time. <laughs> every, every time. Every That's time. what makes it even funnier. I know. <laughs> Oh my God! No balls, two strikes. Bad kissing women are always afforded the opportunity to go further. Bad kissing men don't advance. No, it's because again, you guys don't give a fuck. <laughs> Dirty pussy, shit it on, vomit, bloody noses. Jesus now Christ. bad kissers. Basically, what you want is a fucking torso. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's because you want a fucking dish. Should we go dish, back to Jeffrey Dahmer? Pussy and ass. That's all you need. You don't need the legs. You don't need the mouth. You need nothing else. Just give me a fucking torso. Give me a torso. I'm gonna fuck it. I'm gonna look that up on Pornhub tonight. <laughs> fuck a torso. Oh, I swear to God, if you find no, some weird crazy shit, you gotta tell me no about arms, it. Just no arms, no legs. There's <laughs> a stump. <laughs> Stop. Dump fucking. <laughs> I'm going. So no, there's a sh- there's a show there's a show on Disney. Plus. <laughs> we are sick, sick human beings. There's a show on Disney Plus called Dave. I do recommend it. It gives um, what's that uh, Seinfeld show? Curb your enthusiasm. Yeah, it gives that great advice. Show. So he's a Jewish guy trying to be a rapper, or he is a rapper, awesome. as I'm constantly corrected. Um, so it's just about him. Don't uh, <laughs> <laughs> Keep it going. Stump pump. Yeah, hey, chat, it's good. What other uh, what other things can you say hey, for this? It stump? gives it gives a whole new meaning to like Hump Wednesdays, right? <laughs> yeah, Which is to tomorrow. Hump I day. want stump <laughs> pump tomorrow. Stump so in, that up. in the show, he actually has like a bottom half of like a sex doll where it's just the it's ass, just, it's just the ass, and the legs. And I oh, and the legs. I, I've seen the ones that's just and ass. it's like all rubbery and shit. Latex. I fucking scream, and he would just Silicone. fuck it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And I screamed the moment I saw it. I was like, <laughs> Jeffrey Dahmer was born in the wrong era. Yeah, I know. <laughs> he could have made millions making molds out of the pieces of bodies but he's chopping he up. he didn't need to do that because he would just go and buy a fucking torso. Oh. <laughs> it wouldn't, he would have never been a serial killer. Well, maybe. Let's give him the benefit of the doubt. But yeah, no, I like no Jeffrey Dahmer as a serial so. killer. What? <laughs> I like Jeffrey Dahmer as a serial killer. Me kid. too. He's, he's one a, of the best. He's a good storyline. <laughs> you know, he's a good storyline. I like it. I just want to take some pictures. <laughs> I like it. And that dude, that dude is dancing for his life, oh, man. Know, Let right? me tell you, dancing for his oh, life. Oh, God. It's so fucking That gross. shit was funny. It funny, was good, though. I, I dug it. I dug it. Jeffrey Dahmer. That's fucked up. We went from stump pumping to Jeffrey Dahmer. Oh, I'll always hey. bring it there. Hey. Let's get a serial killer that chops people up and talk about fucking. And what do we get? Stump hump. Stump hump. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I need a t-shirt now that reads stump hump. That is too fantastic. Done. Fantastical little, little, people. We need help. A little side it's stump hump. It's a good hustle. thing. It's a good. <laughs> <laughs> Adding it to my Etsy right now. Side stump hustle. <laughs> is gonna be That's the, it. Uh, that the, is the. <laughs> I that is the double just, underground. I'm just picturing version. a bunch of people with no arms and no legs talking about I'm how hard sure their life is. I, I sent this video to my oldest. Oh my god, you're sick. <laughs> oh no, I'll find it. I'll send it to you guys. You gotta later. send it to me. Yeah. That is amazing. Well, right. I'm telling you, when I heard uh when I heard of uh some of those little uh versions that you're talking about with the latex and the silicone and the legs I'm trying to think to myself what other sex toys i've seen out there i've seen the ass i've seen the pussy mold oh the, for sure the yeah. full sex doll yeah aren't those things like ten thousand dollars if too? not higher depends really? on how realistic they are wow. yeah, yeah absolutely Man, that, hey that's somebody the- that's given up eh I'm telling you, that is some. When you buy a sex doll, a full blown sex doll, that is somebody that has given up on life. I agree. Like, I'm not I even, even going to try it with human beings anymore. Give me a doll. You'll never see me again. <laughs> I'll be. Hey, I wonder where Miss D is. Or maybe the Bruh, doll. You know where she is. <laughs> or maybe the doll just doesn't complain that you don't like her mother. No, oh, oh, no. She's complaining. No. She's fucking she's complaining. complaining. Now that person's given up. That person's given up. Somebody needs to give them the call it quits call. You know, just give it up, bro. <laughs> Too much. I have, would you ever, uh, if you were a guy, would you fuck a fake pussy? <sighs> a fake pussy. Yeah. I think I might. I mean, would I? I go- mean, I, we have vibrators, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah like I'm so, told, I'm not as a, a, as a, if I if I had a weenus, which I wish I did. 
<laughs> right? Mm. What I would do to that. I mean, probably. I definitely would. I don't know if I would go to a store and actually like try, not try them out, but yeah. like feel them Can out. Can I take this in the back for a minute? <laughs> I just I want to see if the I size is right. Yeah. I want to try it on. But, uh, you know, no, no judgment if they do do that. Have you mm. seen those like jerk off machines? It's like a, a full- pussy pocket? Uh, no, what's a pussy pocket? What? Try it's to explain like that a, to me. A, oh, a, a flashlight. flashlight. A flashlight. That's what it is. It's literally. It looks like a flashlight, and it's yeah. just like silicone on the inside. It's hollowed out, and it goes in circles or something. No, on the inside? no, I don't know about any of that. But it actually like resembles uh, a vagina. Oh no, shit. A vulva and everything, and then you no, put your dick the, inside of it and fucking. Have the one I dick. saw was way more archaic. Right? It just looks like one of those big, giant. Like think of like a fishing rod. That kind of. Uh, look to it right yeah. with something like under here that you're <laughs> like this I'm sure, I'm sure that this is like super old i'm sure they have an advanced and, technology uh, now they, and as you do this what it does is it makes it like it cocks this oh, silicone right. tube <laughs> that's on their dick but imagine how big this thing is right it's like this far away and you're like mm, <laughs> and that thing's just, you know, you it's just arms it like, you're giving way too many people too, way too much credit. <laughs> no, like, like it's the, going out the here. machine, going the out machine here. is doing that, right? Oh my god, the machine! I is just doing picture that. like one of those. I'm gonna find things. it. I'm gonna find it. You send me that other video. I'm gonna find this one because yeah, it's, we're gonna uh, exchange gets a little videos. twisted. We'll talk about it next week. Yeah, Jesus Christ! But and we'll share them with the, our uh, side pod hustle audience here. Yes, for sure. <laughs> So, Miss D, you have any more questions for us? I need a bio break again. So, smallest bladder. All right. Oh, so, uh, bladder like a peanut over here. Oh, too. my God. I'm horrible. I'm horrible. Okay. Well, listen. We're, right. we're this already is Ms. D down. Show now. I'm, we're already <laughs> down, <laughs> a man. Go, 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 go. You motherfuckers go, go, go. can't be leaving me on here. And I'm just I can, like, and I don't want to. <laughs> so, I do, I do have a topic for when you return, right? And, uh, and then we'll get into it. So I've got like two stories to it. All right. So we're not going to start it, right? But I'll just give you a little prelude so you can think about it. And then we'll hit it back when uh, Honey Bunny comes back. So pranks. Oh. First of all, I am the queen of them. That's and the reason is, is because I have a ridiculous amount of patience. I could hide somewhere. If I want to scare somebody, I can hide a solid 20 minutes, half an hour, not make a sound, wait till they get really comfortable. And then, come on, fucking, woo! you know, and then watch them drop to the ground. I love it. Makes brings tears to my eyes from laughing so hard. And uh, I've got a couple of stories for you. With oh that. yeah, yeah. So bring some of those up. Think of some of those. King. The king. Oh, you think so? Oh yeah. I don't know. I'm telling you, I don't think so, man. <laughs> I don't think. We'll see. We'll y- see. Your patience is 20, 30 minutes. Mine was a year and a half. <laughs> Revenge <laughs> is a dish best served cold. Uh, that is fucking ice cold. Oh no, I, I have patience for, and I don't. But is forget. that like a true prank, like a like a the moment ah kind of you know prank, or no. is that just something no, like you're feeling really I remember, vindictive? I remember, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna get it back. All right, well that's uh that's a pretty and it wasn't even a huge like bad revenge either. It was just gotcha, bitch. But for fun, like it, laughing came out of this, or laughing was like came out of okay, it. okay. So it wasn't like one of these things where you're like, yeah, fuck you, bitch. Yeah, then it was sh- right. for like the pettiest shit too. So okay, that was okay, fine. okay, perfect, perfect. Hey, so one time you asked me to ask you about Bloody Toronto. What was that about? Bloody Toronto. Yeah, you had asked me like when we had first started off on the um, on the podcast. You're like, hey, so one of these days, talk to me about. Oh no, Bloody Weekends in Toronto. Oh no, that's. Uh, oh, it's a, it's a bloody bad story. Yeah, it's a bad story. <laughs> It was. It was. Uh, I think I talked to you about that, and it was it wasn't for this, but it was for uh, after that uh, OG show. Oh, the bloody was it? No, that was way before that. Was it? Yeah, way, way, way. Yeah, yeah. But, I went. I went really back in yeah, my notes. I grew up in a bad neighborhood. So you can put it together. Oh, got it. Okay. So, um. So you know what I did see online as I'm. You know, you fall into the TikTok four hour oh, cable. cable yeah yeah and uh i saw in so in new york i have family in new york and i saw when they were doing this but the lineups were so long i wasn't gonna wait to go use the bathroom in a park because there are no good you know public or even often on certain you know uh neighborhoods in new york 
public bathrooms. It just you, you, it's very difficult to try to find it. So there's a one public bathroom that was uh, kind of cool. It's kind of like a tourist attraction yep. uh, near a little parkette. Um, and you go in and you could see everybody. So it looks like everybody could see you, like if it's a clear bathroom, mm-hmm. but it's got that you know type of tent where they can't see inside, but you can see everything on the outside. So like, would you be able to like take a dump in a bathroom like that, feeling like everybody could see you? Yep. No. No problem taking a dump in front of like... If, if, I, if I know that they can't see me, but I can yeah. see them. Yeah, like no mentally, problem. mentally it doesn't... Show, because Especially it looks the, like they're right here. Like they could be saying they could be doing this. Up against it. I'd be yelling inside, sorry <laughs> for what I'm doing in this fucking bathroom I'm right now. I'm redecorating the toilet. Yeah. Hope you brought some spray. <laughs> so what I'm listening is a bathroom where you can't, no so one you, can see so in? So you go in, right. So no, okay. they can't see in, but from you being inside, you could see everything. Like it looks like they're all there. No, I just I, looking at I you. couldn't do, unless it was like an emergency and it was coming out regardless where I was, but no. I, c- I could not do I it. I couldn't do it either. It would make I me nervous. Yeah, I'd get, I'd get, you know, like pee shy or, you know, shit shy for right? sure. Yeah, you know, I, I, don't e- I don't even take a dump in other people's houses if I'm visiting. Oh, I try I not hold to. it and I wait and go home. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that's listen, respect. There, there, there is. I know, don't bring me a housewarming gift that's warming up my toilet. <laughs> yeah. I don't need anything steamy in there. Go home. I so, won't take offense. I learned that at a very young age, where um, my sister hung out with a lot of a lot of older people or whatever, and uh, I guess someone had done that to their bathroom, li- ruined it, and then my brother, me, <laughs> my brother in law, my brother in law went in and then immediately walked down and goes, "Who the fuck does that at someone else's yeah, I know, house?" I know. And I think at a young age, I was just like, "I guess you don't do that." Yeah, that's not a lot. But it was. That's not a lot. <laughs> Don't so I it. learned that at a young age, you don't do that at, at other people's homes, for sure. I can't help it. I, I, if I have to go, I have to go. I guess it's, so. It's going to happen. I'll start I sweating. Leave. I leave. I just... say I don't feel well. I got to go. It's been a slice. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> oh, I don't feel well. <laughs> and I had to go. Oh. And, but like, at least we, there's we, a we, basement bathroom, right? Thing too, so it's just like food in, oh. food out policy. Oh, fuck. It's like, so, I get, so it's understandable, yeah. you know, if you, you know your friend has an issue, but... If they don't, well, and they just go friend? and take a fucking shit. No, I, I, my stomach is the most horrible thing in the world. Do you have colitis? I think so, yeah. Oh. So if I... If <laughs> undiagnosed. Undiagnosed. Self-diagnosed. <laughs> Self-diagnosed, yeah, because if you. I put food in, then my stomach just goes... And then I have to go. That's so I, I, I don't... If I'm going to be at somebody's house, I you just don't, don't eat. eat. Fuck, that sucks. The poor thing. Yeah, that's I know. a horrible feeling. Yeah, that sucks. I wonder how all your friends feel where they're like, "Yo, why doesn't he eat your fucking food?" Because shit. <laughs> I mean, I have to take a shit. <laughs> You're not ever coming over when I have food. Oh no, we never well, get no. past the second date. <laughs> you cook humans, no, bro. <laughs> never gonna happen. <laughs> you cook humans. Yeah, I know. yeah. In a stew. <laughs> Apparently, so when if I may, if I come over here and I'm like, look, I made some fresh chili. Yeah, you got the in, in like the witchy way. I got acid for their bones. Pass. All right, so Honey Bunny, you're back. So a topic that we were going to touch on are pranks, pranks that maybe we've pulled on friends. Uh, for me, I've pulled them both on on my ex husband and on my son. Two of my favorite pranks that I've ever pulled on them. So one of them for uh, for the ex husband. It was. He was <laughs> he was taking a shower. <laughs> he was taking a shower, and you know those glasses with the pop out eyes, <laughs> with the slinky eyes. Oh, yeah. I caught so I, so I, took the, I took the eyeballs off, oh, right? Because they were like a bloodshot kind of looking. The plastic they yeah. look like half ping pong balls, and I squeezed them into my eyes, right? And then I went yelling up the stairs, "Oh my god, I need help!" <laughs> like, and he's like, "What?" What? And he's got like shampoo in his hair. And I rip open the fucking shower curtain. <laughs> and I'm like, my eyes! <laughs> that guy dropped, dropped down to the tub. He was oh so my fucking pissed. He's like, oh my God. But it was absolutely the best moment of my life. And he, oh, but it was, it cost a fight for like a week. <laughs> he's like, I could have died. I could have died in that fucking tub, man. I could have hit my neck, could have broken my neck. <laughs> But I was all in. The yell came out like in, I was in utter terror. And I was like, oh my God, my eyes are burning. What happened? And imagine you've got those big bulging eyes. I would freak out. the fuck out. I would freak awesome. the fuck out. One of my That's a great moments. one, actually. I might that steal good. that. But I see girls on TikTok do the the whole um, dry, what do you call that? Glue. Where they're pretending their face is fucking peeling or their skin's all peeling off. With I've glue? Always, 
Yeah, you know how it dries and it becomes like all flaky. Oh, and like, the, like, like the white Elmers? Yeah, yeah. yeah. that stuff. Okay, 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 okay. It's my peeling time uh, of the life. Is what they're saying. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, I haven't seen and those on, videos. And some girls do oh, it so well it. and it's hanging and the boyfriend's like, what the f-? When he wakes yeah. up, like, like that's how she's sleeping? Or Not, she comes up or and says, what's the happening? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that would be. just like freaks out. That's a good one. It's really good. It's really good. Okay, but your son. Oh, what yeah, was my son, that poor bastard. So he was little, <laughs> too, right? It's not even like he was, uh, you know, older or anything that he could really say, oh, this is some bullshit. He was little, maybe like six, seven years old. Oh, the prime age. Right? Jumping out of yeah. <laughs> so I would scare him, like pop out, scare him all the time. So he already knew, fuck, mom's a bitch. Yeah. She's going to fucking pull some shit on me. So if he would walk in, he'd be like, mom. Mom, check around the room, right? You can, like, right? feel your presence. And so I wouldn't answer. <laughs> and I would sit in the closet, and I have it, like, open. I, I'm talking, like, maybe half an inch open, right, just to see where what he's doing. Puts his school bag down, starts making a little bit of a snack, after-school snack. And then, again, he goes upstairs, but as he's going up the stairs, you can hear him say, Mom! So, like, he doesn't trust it. And this is some time now. Like, look how long it takes to make, like, mac and cheese, yeah. right, putting down his school bag. Yeah. So he's getting nice and comfortable. He's like, okay, fuck it. Now he's now he's changed. Comes back down. I can see he's in track pants. And he has to put his shit away. Like, these are house rules. So I know at some point he's going to grab his school bag, goes in front of the TV. He's going to do work, whatever. Grab his school bag down. I see him grab his coat, and I'm like, this is it. This is it. Opens the closet. I grab him by the ankles. Jesus. Boy, drops to his knees, right? <laughs> Freaks out. And I can do nothing but fall apart in tears laughing. That's it's, so evil. I know it is evil, That's but so it's evil. so, I have so, I have so much on my fun. Of, of <laughs> but it was so much fun. My little one. Do you still like play pranks on? Hundred percent. Yeah. 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 Does in he fact, do the same? In fact, his fiance has picked up where I left off. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah. To freak him out, she would turn off the lights. And my son gets hor- He's a major gamer. Yeah. Gets terribly distracted. Right when he's gaming, that he doesn't pay attention. So he's like, okay, like that's enough. He's finishing off. Turns on the light because he's afraid of the dark. Checks, right? <laughs> two two directions. Okay. I wonder why. Okay, but he doesn't really look. He's like, turns on the light, but kind of does nothing. She comes out of a dark corner and she's got long black hair, pulling it over her head, kind of like the grudge yeah. situation, <laughs> right? Scares the shit out of him. I go, if I was a fly on that wall, what I would give to be there. Yeah, so poor bastard. He's getting it from, from me from growing both up. Ends, yeah. Yeah. That's right. That's how he knew he was going to marry that girl. Yeah. See? Perfect. He's like, I'm going to marry her. Perfect. It's a good mix. I love it. I love it. Gotcha. Thank you, producer. So I am um, a patient, patient, patient person. And uh, one time we were going to work and we were drinking on the subway. And uh, oh, going to work and drinking work. on we the subway? We used to pre, okay. pre game to go to work and then go to clubs after and all that kind of stuff. So all right. we had a little, you know, we'd have a little buzz on at the uh, place where we used to work downtown. And. Um, one of my friends spit in my drink. Nice friend. Yeah. <laughs> and then, First of all, wait, you're gonna get you are aware of it? I was, Elbow no, to I the was face. Act, I was acting like a fool. I was hanging upside down on the bars in the TTC in the subway. And then this woman uh, who witnessed the whole thing was laughing. And I pause this thing off. And uh, they all tell me that, uh, you know, my friend spit in my drink. And I was like, okay, I'll get you. I'll get you. Don't worry about it. It's fine. So for a year and a half, anytime my friend uh, was around me, he was always thinking that revenge was going to happen. On edge. On edge. The whole time. So, so is he the, always carrying around his cup like with his hand yeah, over yeah. it? He knew it was coming. He just Please didn't know when. Please tell me you just when. fucked his mom. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, no. I spit in the most ultimate place. But one time he left his beer unattended. So I just took it, and it was after a long day, and just right up under my balls. Oh, I just gave her a, you a, a, bag mic, drink? a mick twisty oh, underneath oh, the nut sack. That is some, and then put it right that's back. That's what you call a cold dip. Yeah, <laughs> put it right back, and then just sat back and watched the show. Oh, my God. Was he, he like it? tugging oh, yeah. and everything? Oh, he enjoyed every wait, fucking But wait, you had of, witnesses. You had to have oh, yeah, witnesses. Yeah, Everybody yeah, was just yeah, sitting yeah, there yeah. just like watching them. The same woman from the train. Oh, oh fuck. Oh, yeah. <laughs> And then that's uh, a great prank, though. Oh, it was great. Yeah. But that took it way was, too long. It was the anticipation of having that him took on way too edge long, for though. over a year. Yeah, yeah. right. Every that, time I was, was around, three months that he really would have been just as good. 
three, yeah. three months. It's the on workup edge. that he really enjoyed, though. And then he really uh, band stuff. I can go on for hours, so we won't even get into that. I'll just tell you. <laughs> you one. ever prank your kids? Oh, all the time. Mm-hmm. All the time. Did you ever make him cry? Uh, my my youngest. Those are the ra- best. Yeah, yeah, I, that too. <laughs> and mother of the year goes to. <laughs> At this point, my my youngest knows. He goes, yeah, no. He just he doesn't buy it. He, he knows. Buy he, it. He yeah, just knows. okay. Um, but uh, one of the things that I did when we were doing band stuff is I set up a fake interview with the guitar player. Okay. So that we can get him alone in in a room and then duct tape him. Uh. Like hands, feet, everything, toes. I think we duct taped his, taped his toes. <laughs> and then we took him and then threw him on stage with duct tape everywhere. And like, like while, with like people, while, while like a the, crowd? While, yeah, while or just the during opening rehearsals. band was still playing. Oh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's fucked up. Yeah. That's fucked up. We did. Uh, there's a whole YouTube. Is he still touring? <laughs> Is um, that part of not the part gig of that now? Bad, but uh, there's. I'll show you some videos later. We were uh, we were mean people to each other. Honey bunny, pranks? honest? No, I yeah. don't. I don't have any. Has anybody pranks. pulled pranks on you? No, I mean oh, besides my man. father. But that sounded like an invitation. <laughs> <laughs> if you have but me, I'm, I'm open that's to it. That's an invitation I'm, for me to prank you. I'm open you. to oh, it, but I'm work uh, one up. No, I mean besides scaring someone from the corner or whatever. But I don't really fucking prank people. So Shit, I, want, I love yeah, it. Yeah, I want to see your prank. I love I it. See your prank. I enjoy them. I love scaring people. Do you? And let me tell you, I like I like being scared by like movies and things yeah, like that. Yeah, I definitely. I fucking that. get pissed if somebody tries to scare me. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? And then I'll laugh it off. But I'm like, it's an immediate like, what the fuck? And meanwhile, here I am. I work it all out in my head. Do it. I want you to do that. For all right. Me. Please all right, I'll, do it. I'll do Please a good do it. one. Uh, one that I did, I did an April Fool's on my brother one time. So he was always this middle child. Yeah. He was always the first one to get up and just destroy the bathroom. Right? <laughs> Take a dump, stink it up, you know, toothpaste bits in the sink. And I'd just be like, bruh. Fucking gross. Bruh. Yeah. Like, there's, there's a whole other household of people here. <laughs> like, can you fucking do us a solid, A little wipe. It's the only Something. thing he had. He didn't give a fuck. <laughs> he was an angry middle child syndrome kid. Okay, yeah. straight up. So I got pissed. And I'm like, fuck it. You want to do something stupid in the morning? Fine. He's like, Knowing he'd be the first one up. I saran wrapped. Oh. The toilet. Nice, smooth, right? Put the toilet seat down so that when he'd wake up, He's just going to pick it up. Morning pee. <laughs> Brrra, shooting right back oh at him. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. He was pissed. I took off. Yeah. <laughs> I fucking took <laughs> off. I'm like, yeah, okay. This is a good prank, but you're going to kick my ass. I am out of here, <laughs> man. Out of so here. So were you like the prankster of the family? No, kind of no, no. I mean, I think I've turned into the prankster of the family yeah. now. But no, I was the youngest of two older brothers, you know. The, <laughs> You're just trying to survive. Just trying to survive. <laughs> hey, if she dies, she dies. That's what they would say to me, those bastards. No, not at all. Yeah. No. Yeah. So, yeah. I don't know. But, guys, we are uh, approaching our, uh, our two-hour markers. Mark. Yeah. Our two-hour marker. Right. We'll get, uh, we'll get Chiz back in here. Um, and I think that we're going to try closing uh, closing it off there, Chiz. If you had your final uh, prank story or a little prelude to next week, let us know what uh, we should be closing it off with. Yeah. Um, no, um, my final prank story is... Uh, we actually, no, we just, we'll go into a more... I'm sure Schmo has a few. <laughs> and... Uh, <laughs> I'm sure that uh, he's probably pulled we a few gotta, on us. Yeah, we got to get some dream interpreters in here. Yeah, for sure. Some, you know, astrological experts to really I, break I down our signs. I wonder what the viewers signs. want us to interview as well. Yeah, That'd be good. for sure. That'd be really you good. Know, for everybody out there watching, we really appreciate you watching. If you catch up on us on YouTube, please do so. Add your comments. We will respond. And anything that you would like us to cover, we'd be more than excited to get going on those uh, suggestions on there. Any pranks, any kinks, anything that you guys want us to talk about, we'll be talking about it online. Absolutely. Thank you, everyone. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Till next week. Bye. We need a hero. Are you the rock we stand? American Hebrew. Ding down. They just think they are. Never little wanna be gangster trying to play hard. 
ding dong.